G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Wrong Way Up. And everybody's here. I mean, Capac's not quite out of bed yet, but everybody is here. Where is your... Oh wait, that's not how I get to The situation there. normal then. Yeah, exactly. Was there a gift this morning? Pre-stream? No! like, I've been enjoying hearing the gifts. No! <laughs> hearing the gifts. Yes. Cap Capax, like, real Capax awake. Um, spacesuit Capax asleep. Capax, I've got something to show you, though. I mean, it could Bro. be worse. You could be smelling come with me. gifts. Come with me, come with me. Bro. Something you're going to like. Where are you it's going? something Wasted noticed on uh, game load. Uh, if you guys come to the hangar bay, I've made some modifications to the pumpkin. What the? Capac? Is it... You've, you've let it sink into the ground. Yeah, he has. Well, yeah, that, that happens. Uh, you've Wait. also dented this wing pretty good. Is that the modification you're talking about? Is no, that me? was during combat. Is this me as a noita? Yeah! That's very nice. cool. <laughs> that is you oh, as wow. a noita wizard thing. That looks a lot more epic than I feel when I'm playing noita. <laughs> At least most of the time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I do or love the that's... juxtaposition I just got of Epic, Capac as Noita, and then turn around and I immediately saw the Cat Pack on the El City behind us. Oh, I like the one that's on there right now the best, actually. Yeah. Or it's a engineer who decided to take their favorite bathrobe up into zero G and didn't make it through all the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... There are, I've added a few more of the cut of um, Black Shadow's cartoons, <laughs> so I could put them on things. Black Shadow is so incredibly talented at making those little little caricatures. They look so good. Yeah, I love them. Waste is just this... going to do something embarrassing so that he can be put on one. I haven't done anything embarrassing, and I made one, made it on one. Impossible. What do you mean embarrassing? Depends on perspective as to whether you should be embarrassed by that or not, dear. See, I, I think the only person who's embarrassed by it is you, which makes me want to do it more, so... You were saying oh, something most of Van Gogh. I was just laughing. Uh, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we want to replace the uh, the mag pads underneath with mag pads on the sides so that hopefully the uh, the sinking wheels go away? Yeah, it I, is, I think it's sinking we should. into the mag pad. This isn't even the, the doom hole. This is literally just sinking into the mag pad itself. Oh. Okay, well, I'm just going to do this to begin with. I move it up yes. onto the deck because otherwise it's going to make it impossible for you to do that. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get to I'm work on And then I'm going to turn oh. off creative uh, mode. Tex, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I, I died suddenly in midair. I don't know what happened. I just, I'm on my screen, I just see your body sort of flop over <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> I don't what know suit quite is what that? happened. Huh? Is that is that what a pajama mean? suit? What is what it's is that? Graffiti. Like, ah. I, who graffitied my suit? Wow, he's really, really slippery too. You push him oh. around, he slides all over the place. Oh, oh he's, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, that's really <laughs> taking my that, uh, over here. Drawing on somebody's face with Sharpie when they're asleep. I mean, seriously, <laughs> seriously, guys. Yeah. <laughs> or when they're dead, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's tech, like so we we'd have to like trim his moustache in some weird way. Oh, give him... Oh. Oh, there are so many good options for that. Was so gonna, I was actually wondering how long it was going to take for chat to notice, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it apparently didn't take DE very long to notice. Nope, nope. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. Sharp as attack. Sorry, there, there were colors. <laughs> I was like, wait, there's not usually colors on it. No, something's wrong. <laughs> Uh, so Changed. we have a plan. We we had a plan for today. I don't know if it's still going to be the plan. Sometimes our plans change. Uh, of making the thing over there that has fewer wheels than it had before wasted arrived, um, which is an odd thing to say. Um, uh, it's not my normal approach. <laughs> no, normally, <laughs> normally, I'm responsible for adding wheels rather than removing. Yeah. But so we were going to turn this into some sort of lead rover slash extra trailer that we can send in to attack stuff if we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, is everyone still positive about that idea or if someone come up with something different slash better? Um, I mean, also, I'm, we haven't I'm actually explored this thing yet. Um, yeah, 
Well, Capac tried too. and then... <laughs> oh yeah, Capac shot a guy on the toilet. Yeah, I found the bathroom. I meant got shot oh, by a guy on the toilet. Did you guys I mean, see the... Uh... Oh, to be fair, <sighs> if if someone barged into on me while I was in the toilet and I had a gun, I might shoot him too. I mean, just to be honest. So that, that, I think it was a completely appropriate... Hey, he got off the behavior. toilet before he shot me. <laughs> you guys see the uh, drone printer they have on top here? For the Penelope Cruises? I did see that. It looks nice. Did we capture a Penelope Cruise with it too? Uh, we did. Yeah, it's it's right there. Oh, so we could possibly reverse engineer that technology, since my missiles are terrible. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded a bit hard to aim, from what I heard. Yeah. I did. I did find out what I was doing wrong. I'm I'm using the wrong blueprint because the highest numbered blueprint is not always the most recent blueprint, especially when you try to. You try to make the main blueprint the most recent one so that you don't forget and have to go look for the highest number blueprint and then forget you've done that. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's self-defeating, I think. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's exactly I heard right a lot of blueprints there. I don't know. <laughs> there were a lot of words between blueprints. It was a yeah. it was a blooper blueprint, basically, or a blueprint blooper, and yeah, it was, yeah, now I'm kind of blue about it. Well. Mm. Blue, blue, blue. I will admit, I have some thoughts. Oh, yeah? Is it about blowing all your blueprints on balloons? Yes. How did you know? Yeah. Seems like a logical a next step. It's going to be a surprise, Gab. Ah! Watch out, Tex. I was going to fill right. Splitsy's bedroom with them. They've removed the floor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting things. Pray uh, you don't adjust them further. Care to share your thoughts, Wasted? Yeah. yeah. That's a capac interruption. Yeah, I do. Uh. Uh. More drones. Uh huh. Where where do print more drones? Where do print more drones? Oh, I mean, as much as I regret this particular choice of approach, and we'll see how long it lasts. Um, on the back half of the trailer with the wacky waving crane arm on it. Yes, that's right. I'm going to go and live with Tex on that trailer. <laughs> Cohabitating with Tex. On the, on, on, the, uh, yeah. on the trailer with the crane on it. You don't okay. have to live there. You just have to work there. I mean, to be honest, you can go home at the end of the day. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. Yes. I might have figured out how to fit a uh, drone I might printer have some in concepts the, like that, Jacob. Basically, the space that's missing over there. Not specifically that. Half. Okay. All right. Um. So, so that's what you. I'm. I'm taking that. If you're you right. Want. I'm very keen on the idea of more I'm, drones I'm, being printed. Well, I specifically the idea that we can charge one that could do. Couple. Well, it does four at once, uh, and there are three different drone blueprint choices. You can either have the Gatling one for anti-air, you can have the auto cannon one for anti-ground, or you can have the pizza delivery drone. Ah. Pizza delivery drone. I like it. Absolutely has to get there in 30 minutes or less. Yeah, that yep. sounds about right. Actually, I think they fly for about 22. <laughs> I yep. Okay. So I, I yeah, I, I very much like this. Plus, it looks cool. I think, and it's. I managed to do it in a way where it, if we get bombed, it won't immediately get blown up at least. <laughs> and, and let's be fair. If you if that trailer gets bombed, it's hitting the crane. Yeah, that's true. You're not wrong. Pretty, it is pretty much. Like, I, I, I kind of like I the idea of using the crane points. as a defensive mechanism. You just, oh god, we're under attack. <laughs> Stick the crane up and just spin it round. <laughs> no one will want to come in and panic it. mode, and they'll just start waving the crane around wildly, going. Aah! Can you imagine take, people take one look at that and be like, "All right, no, no, actually." I desperately want to see. The crane I might be two thousand meters up, but this is too dangerous. <laughs> I just, I just want to see the crane spinning around at at the fastest speed it possibly can. A, bomb come down and not actually activate properly and just get smashed. Get batted. <laughs> Miles oh, man. away. Home run. Yeah. I want to make this happen. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if, if we don't need like all five of us working on this front trailer, then it sounds like maybe Waste could work on his drone printer update. Yeah. I can, uh, I can get the crane set up at the park script so it's actually a lot quicker to use. Sure. Three of you focus on the the front. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'll be I, I'll be up there. To, I'll what's be up that to help out in a little bit. Uh, I'm I'm redoing the hangar real quick to get. Oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're doing that. To, to, to mean that we don't fall through it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you're leaving it's the two Aussies in charge of the rover that's green. Yep. Hmm. At least temporary. Yeah, that cat back. Uh, yep. We're on panel beating duty. Yep. Uh, should we explore this place first? Make sure yep. there aren't any more bots on toilets. <laughs> One very, very patient bot has been sitting in there for just over a <laughs> week. <laughs> he should probably go see a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to see the uh, inside. I noticed there's four very explosive men. We should probably unload. Oh yeah, we will. Well, as soon as we connect up. There is a dead dude down here. Mm-hmm. Dead dude has a hollowed out crude magazine. Excuse me, what? You heard Chris, me. Chris Gunn. Hollowed out crude magazine. Okay. Um is there anything else around here? Any loots we didn't loot? Oh yeah, there's heaps of ammo. Oh yeah, there is oh. <gasps> auto cannon I mean, magazines! Artillery cells. Ooh. Auto cannon magazines are my favorite. Uh, oh yeah. they are so going on the pumpkin. Nice. And a bunch of artillery shells. Ooh. A bunch of assault cannon shells, man. That's the jackpot. Ooh. It's got a nice open plan bridge. Yeah, it's it's got enough room for all of us from what I've seen going around. And that's not I think we've I got labels for all the control stations. Just because <laughs> it's new, it doesn't you don't have to feel like you have to use it, okay? It's okay. We have a good a good rover what we got going on. I don't know, you. I think we should abandon the old rover and go with this one. Ow. Alright, well, let me start building a warhead. How we, uh, <laughs> how we reward, uh, loyalty, right? Been replaced. Pretty hey, much. do you know what else this, this rover has that ours doesn't? Stairs. No, ours has stairs. A dead guy in the kitchen? Okay, that's true, it does have that. It the has bathroom. an ore detector. Two dead guys in the kitchen. Where's the kitchen? In the corner. Pack. I need my Sherpa. What? I'm with Wasted. Yeah, I need you to help in me the get kitchen. to where you are. Well, I go down a stair. I'm at the top. Wait, I'm not actually at the top. Where are you guys? In the kitchen. Not as helpful as you think it is. Oh, hey. But I passed this you way. two seconds ago. You were right next to the doorway to it. Oh, here's the kitchen. Gotcha. Ooh. Surprisingly large amount Ooh. of dead dudes in there. Private the Jensen's personal log. Oh. It's been three weeks since we arrived, and just over two since we woke those robots. Two weeks of running, of loss. First to go was Beck Carl. I had never seen what a mining drill would do to a man's gut. Ugh. I still see that when I close my eyes. After Carl, it was just a slow dribble. Ugh. Ugh. Some uh, <laughs> flowery descriptions there. <laughs> Person after person gone. We still don't know what happened to Tabitha. Just woke up one morning and she was gone. Been running for two weeks. Just me and Mark. Well. Hmm. Sounds like Jensen bit the dust. Doesn't sound Thanks, great, Hammerby. does it? I don't want to think about and, those things. Uh, the delivery there, I think, was chef's kiss. Yep. Missed calling. Yep. I, I can't help but notice, I don't know if the metal trailer is uh, guttering back and forth for anybody else. Uh, yeah, it is for me. 
Is it making it hard to place blocks? Is that yeah. new? I thought this yeah. was the norm. I mean... Um, text. let me know if something for, changes in just a second. Turn. Oh, hi. Yep, I did it. What did you do? Yep. I got in and out oh. of the main cockpit. And now it's doing it again. Oh, so it's only fixed when I'm in it. Well, that's inconvenient. I don't think I can stay in there while you build. No, no, that's okay. I'll, I'll do it. Um, I'm not actually placing blocks. I'm just going to map the ones that I got. Oh, uh, you're setting up the park script. Yeah, I think it's time. Yep. Seems reasonable. Um, Kapak. Yeah. You've lifted up this thing once. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave you in command of how we get, add the wheels back on. Right. <laughs> Don't sound too thrilled. <laughs> I'm also chuckling at what just got written in chat by the Merc. He's getting the dude, where's my rover thing? Impounded. Yeah. Do we still have an ice problem? Yes. Yes. Okay, just joking. Uh, however, we have a significantly improved fuel situation in general once we get this thing hooked up to the main rover because mm -hmm. we can siphon off all its fuel. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm being asked to rename the big, the Mastodon to something else. The new rover. It is rather green. But mm. we were we were talking about doing active camo last week. Thanks, Jacob. Well, if its previous name was Mastodon, they're big and scary, right? Uh huh. Do you want to call it? So like we need. We need something that's small, green, and not at all scary. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Thanks to that McClure. little lizard. Like oleol or something? Oh. What's a, what's a little green insect? That's sticky. Really... Sticky the stick insect. Yeah, Rap. they're harmless. They just look nasty. What the... Just look weird. I'm like, you're all limbs. What's wrong with you? Tree yeah, frog, we were gonna, pickles, we were gonna gherkins. Skin it, we could name it Pachyderm. <laughs> just want to get back with this forklift. Yeah, it's not really working very well. <laughs> he just lifted himself off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, if it's going to be an attack craft, we could name it the Praying, the R E Y, Mantis. Oof. <laughs> Uh, Kapak, can I can I make a suggestion, or should I just leave you flounder for a bit longer? <laughs> Actually, that looks fun. Um, <laughs> is, it, is this thing stuck in the ground? It should be. Is it? It's not working the same way it was last time. Uh, let me let me go to a control panel and make sure it is a mobile grid. Yeah. No, but like, is it embedded in the ground? Uh, it would be a static grid if it was. It is not embedded in the ground. Yeah, but not intentionally. No, no. As in, as soon as you embed it in voxel, it becomes a static grid. Or it explodes. One of the two. Unless it's the wheel. In which case, fun. But yeah, true. Yeah, it doesn't have wheels on this side, though. No, indeed. <laughs> just, just, there is one exception, and that's when you accidentally um, get the wheel stuck in the ground and the whole thing goes to space. The suggestion I was going to make was walk, was drive up to this block here, let your landing gear lock, and then lift. Yeah, I tried that mm. already. What happened? It just pulled the whole thing up out of the air. But that's when you come down again. What? Wasn't it? So I'm running into a problem. What's the, the problem? The plates themselves seem to be not great for driving on with the plane wheels. 
Oh, weren't you just going to get rid of the plates altogether and leave the lip on the lift once you got rid of the locking things? Yeah. I, I was hoping to be able to keep the plate so the, the lip, yeah. the lift lip wouldn't be as bad, but I think I'm going to have to get the planes. Oh, 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 oh. Good job. It's not, it's not my fault. No, 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 no. This is, this, these are good ooze. Kavak, hold it. Yep, hold it while I remember up. how to use the new um, build vision. Oh, are you trying to add wheels? Yeah. I added a wheel. Although we probably should have repaired this thing first. As Kapak has previously criticized me for, my <gasps> can be equally good or bad. Well, it was yeah. accompanied by an unholy clanging, unlike <laughs> had it ever been heard before since the before times. Yes. And then you're like, oh, 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 this is a good noise. And you're like, Are you sure? <laughs> you're really sure about that? It doesn't sound like a good noise. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Like how we all froze like rabbit, you know, like 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 somebody whose significant other had just made a, a ambiguous noise on the other end of the couch. You didn't know if it was bad or good, and you just didn't want to say anything until you knew. <laughs> oh great, the Joneses are at it again. All right, Kevac, I've repaired that wheel. If you can lift it up again, I should be able to add the middle to the, the front one. Though we should probably add the other suspension that should be here. The suggestion from chat is Kermit. Kermit? Is that to try and encourage us to do as many bad Kermit impressions as possible? Because if no so, I like it. Kermit the Frog here. Uh-oh. I'm sinking into the panels. Hold her there, Kermit. Hold her there. Hold her there. Alright, got the wheel on. Now I just got to add the suspension for the back. Yep. Um... Is that a scary place to be right now? <laughs> it's, uh, noisy. Mm. Hmm. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Kapak, you're gonna find a different spot. The wheel couldn't be added because you're in the way yeah. now. Uh, I've added the front one though. I'm gonna vote that we tow this thing. You don't want to just stick it on the front? Well, it's all 5x5 five five wheels. Yeah. I feel like... Oh, all right, we can try. If we, if, we, if we get a problem, we'll just lift it up with the hinge and drive it with it straight up in the air. I can't see a problem with this. I mean, there's a certain thing to be said for towing it. Yeah, I, I just kind of like the then idea... You don't, then you can just sort of drop it off. You, you could even drop it off on the move if you needed to. Yeah. Oh, nice. I figured I'd say, ooh, nice, rather than saying something different so that you knew that the bad clanging is a good clanging. Okay. I appreciate that. Oh, uh... It's not letting me add the wheel, Kapak. Uh... I'm not sure why. These are not good noises. Mm. I don't care what Splitzy says, they are not good noises. Uh, no, Splitzy is very insistent that those are the happy noises. Mm -hmm. I mean, I actually meant, I actually meant my ooh 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 was the happy noise, not Wait, the clang 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 noise. Have you made it too close to the? I thought that was where it was placed, though. Or did I miss? Uh, no, it looks like it's right. Yeah, that's the same place as the one on the other side. Yeah. Interesting. So, <laughs> it appears to be grid updates that cause the wheels to sink into a grid. Ah. I grind, I grind a thing down, and I watch the left wheel of this airplane. The sink little fork ever that so could. slightly more into the deck. <laughs> Thanks, seventy five. There Old it goes the again. Kermit. Yeah, that's a nice one, Jacob. 
Do we have any idea why these do this? Is there is the collision model just broken? No. That's not uh, I my assumption has always been that the plates, because they've got a very thin collision mesh, would this is be prone to fail. Well, this is uh on blocks. All right, oh, a wheel plates. now. Oh, it's sinking into regular armor Ooh. blocks. Nice one, Kevin. So that makes me think it's something to do with the wheels rather oh. than anything else. Yeah, Kapak, I can't add the wheel at all. Mm -hmm. Let me... Hmm. Just one sec. I'm just, just going to do something. This rover is now officially christened Kermit the Hulk. Kermit the Hulk. Uh, this wheel is suspension right four. Yeah, see if you can add it through. Here we go. Uh, suspension right four. And mm. wheel. No, Is nothing. Anything happening. Um, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to get rid of some of this armor around here. Happy sounds, right? Yep, Kermit the got. Hulk is not hulking out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Let's go to wheel. Yep. Nice. It's a text fire. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, but you those are already happy breaking noises. the agreements of our cohabitation. Uh, trust me. There is a crane in my side of the room. I know. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> well, let me grind down the drill heads. I'll work later. Okay. Refuses to go any direction other I than. I see how this works. So what he does is he throws his trash in my half of the room, and then he's like, "Well, if you help me clear it up, I'll get rid of it." Yep. Sounds about right. I had roommates like that before. Let's hit that. Oh no! I just got another suggestion beyond Kermit. Mike Wazowski. Hey. <laughs> Well, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a single eye. Though. It kind of does. Look at the front. He's, he's more yellow than green, isn't he? I mean, he's green yellow, but he's I don't know. Mike Wazowski. No. Oh. Yeah, it's coming with oh. the Hulk though. I like that. Do you want those a bit lower, Kevin? Oh, can you drop one and I'll add the other? Mm, not really. You've also landed gear locked. No. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, nope. Uh, what if you reverse up a bit? Now try. Uh... Can you get under? What if you... Do you have gyro control to, like, tilt forward and slip yourself under? Oh, that's lower. That's lower anyway. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, what if I put some chocks under it so yeah. when you lower it down? Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that is so much rain. I apologize for the static noise coming through my microphone. Oh, it's not raining. Can't really hear much. That's good. It is raining very heavily here right now. I just hope it's not as heavy as the other day where it rained so much that I had to um, go and dig out drainage ditches in the middle of the night with my elbow deep with myself elbow deep in water so that my computer that had just been flooded by an all-in-one cooler could not be flooded by rains because I'd moved down to my garage when it was getting flooded. Uh, that didn't all help much, Cameron. Just... No. All this is just making me glad that I don't live in Australia. 
You know, maybe we should just put a big piston on the side of this thing. Hey, you're the foreman here. I'm just the gopher. I'm just helping. Whoa. Well, you're the gopher until he tells you to do something you don't want to do, and then you're going to take over. I've Whoa! seen this show before. Oh, dear. <laughs> what just <on>? happened? <laughs> you deleted part of Kermit. You just gave Kermit a nephrectomy. He's lost his kidney. Okay. The uh, forklift just took a bite out of the... <laughs> what, what How is the do? forklift still alive? I don't That's know! That's a heavy armored large grid. It's... How does a, how does the little one come was, out on top in that it's, battle? I think because it was the pistons sub that were grids. inside. Yep, invulnerable subgrid. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was amazing. Oh no, the medical room's gone. Capac, you deleted the medical room. I didn't do it. The forklift did it. <laughs> uh. Quickly, blame the inanimate object. <laughs> I'm not sure I could convince Capac to name his forklift anything. Don't panic. Given what just happened. But thank you so much, Omnidrive. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah, the little Capacinator that could. Um, So, Capac, you adding a piston now? Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, I mean, you did... I, for one. You did incredibly well to get this much of... This many of the wheels on with that forklift. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm still amazed that it can lift that thing. Pistons be strong. Yeah. There's somebody running around on the ground? Probably. Well, okay. I mean... Now back? In a blue suit? No, no. I'm, no? On, I'm in the air. Wait, what? Um, blue suit? Blue suit, that's... that's. Hey, hey, he's on the rover! Who? Oh. Where'd he go? I see him. <laughs> Ow! You're being invaded. I had it. What we the? were. I don't know what he was doing. Wait. But I don't like it. Uh. I'm Joshy. Um. Their mercenary is now a robot. What? Aren't they all robots? No, this one was this one was very much in a human suit when I'd seen it before. Did he ever take off his human suit? Maybe he was a robot wearing a human skin the entire time. Ooh. Fair enough, it could be that. I don't know. I don't remember seeing his face. What the I don't think he ever had a face. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow, Kavak, and... Do you have a name for your forklift? I presume you're keeping it. Uh, Ow! Ow! Sure, that'll do. That's a reason. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I fell off of the rover because I am connected to a server in Australia, and then I lifted off half a meter off the ground and was slaughtered for my attempt. This piston's not working. When I extend it, the head of the piston just detonates. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reverse That'll it. Happen. Reverse That'll it. happen. How fast were you pushing it into the ground? Point five. Yeah, that's too fast. What? Uh, you'll also probably want to weld it up. I did. Oh. Really? You you do like to push pistons quite quickly. 0.5 meters a second is not fast. It is when it's trying to hold up the weight of something as big as this Real rover. Low. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, I overshot! <clears throat> oh. Fuel it, where's the ladder? Does anyone remember where I put the ladder? There it is. <laughs> I, I can't help you, I'm sorry. <laughs> can't or won't? In this case, can't. Ask again next time. I found it. First he shoots me. Completely, completely unprovoked. Then he kills me with his face. 
feel like he's not off to a good start. Like I didn't even realize I was going fast enough to hit you. I didn't even see you at all. I I floated up, so I was probably coming perpendicular to you. I was not um, expecting someone to be moving at any kind of speed down there. <laughs> and you probably weren't going fast enough to kill me, but because of the latency, it was like, oh no, he was actually going 300 meters a second. You're both dead. Yeah. I have a question which might be pertinent. Once we're, we're done determining who ran into who. Um, where did Mark come from? I don't well, know. You understand why I'm asking the question, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand. A saboteur got on board, and we don't know how they got here. Yeah. I wonder oh, if they're tunnel reverse porters. Cap back reverse the piston. Yeah, I want to see what happens. It's going to explode. Um, I think we might need to put some blocks or something on the bottom to increase the voxel collision because apparently the piston head is not colliding until some point where it will eventually decide that it has. Like that. Well... Having more success with the forklift. Yeah. Yeah. Truth. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Thanks, Thorin. Uh, Kapak. Let's stick a mag plate on here and lock to the ground and then push. Uh, sure, I guess that could happen. Maybe. Oh, for a second I thought you were grinding down your little forklift. Where are we going to find ground that's magnetized, though? Apparently all of it is. That's why you fall from the sky and land here. I actually talked to somebody <laughs> who was telling me that gravity isn't real and it's all electromagnetic force. Uh -huh. well, my friend's mother's when I was growing up was, was a magnet lady. Mm -hmm. It was disturbing, to be honest. You, you, yeah. Just constantly with this agenda, you sort of go around to see your mate and it'd be like, oh, mum would suddenly show up. She'd, it's obviously one of these slow. slightly um, 60s ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Start waving magic rocks at you. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, all right, oh, that kind yeah. of magnet lady. Uh, uh -huh. okay. Well, they, they're related. But she wasn't the kind of magnet lady that like sticks the spoons to her body and like t uh, turns on the light bulbs and that kind of stuff. <laughs> Those are more entertaining, I think. <laughs> that sounds like a far more interesting one, though. She just waved bits of rock um, at me and said, "Doesn't it make you feel better?" Well, oh, they're rocks. What, can I? Well, it's lifting everything into the air. You didn't expect I mean, that? Rocks can make you feel I better. I wasn't thinking valuable. about it. Yeah, these weren't those sort of rocks. Oh, well, that's depressing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got a wheel over mm -hmm. here. Uh, we might need a new mm -hmm. suspension. Yeah. I'm not sure this second wheel is going to place either. Yep. Oh, you did. Cool. Alright. Nice one, man. Well, this is a good start. Oh, hello, projection. Yeah, it's been kind of hanging there for a while. I'm observant. <laughs> it, it's it's varied <laughs> which, which trailer has been projected a few times, but... It's clearly not paying attention to that. That's okay. I 
I feel somewhat justified in um, focusing on when Capac and I are playing with pistons. <laughs> Given the chunk that got taken out of Kermit. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> Ooh. Anyone else finding the rotate in Build Vision at the moment kind of hard to get to... Well, not the rotate, the mouse wheel. Is, um... Yeah, a little in a key. problematic. Do you mean, like, um... I haven't done any of the sort of controls you're doing with, the, with that. Yeah. What the... You just threw 10 construction well, components at me. Can someone else have a go at lining that up? Because you can see what it's doing for me. Like, yeah. flickering constantly. Yeah, what's, what's the projector uh, called? Let me see. Uh, I somehow activated build vision projector in like a radial drone? wheel, but I don't know what I did to make it do that. That's Yeah, the, the radial normal. wheel is actually working better in the current thing. So that's Although roughly the right works. way up, isn't it, Wasted? Is that the right way around? Wasted? Wasted? That's Wasted. the wrong way up. He's gone. He's gone, Splitzy. He's, gone. <laughs> He's too young. <laughs> uh, I can't tell which way round this is supposed to be. Uh, that is indeed the wrong way. Round. Wheels down. <laughs> yep. Uh, what? What? 180 degrees on that. Yeah, 180. Yeah, it, it keeps text files front doesn't change really. It just grows a back. That's the right way around there. No, that is uh, rotate it 180 degrees. No, I just did that. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, just, just slide <laughs> it forward. Yeah. <laughs> Back one. Is it? Yep, back one. Back one more. Hang on, hang on. I got out of the control accidentally. All right, down two, and it's gonna be to the other way. There you go. And then to try try moving it one one block, one direction. I don't know direction that's going to be left or right for you. It's towards him. I'm so confused by which way you want me to go. Pick a direction. Nope. Other, Other one. one. <laughs> Is that, that one? correct? There. Spot on. Bingo. Spot on. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I, f I think, Wasted, you'll probably find the wheel version of Build Vision works a bit better with that one. Because it's got the uh, confirmed no, dialog box. Someone's pointed it out in chat for me. Um, it's because I'm still holding down control. Oh, right. Yeah. So it's moving in fives as opposed oh, to yeah. move. Yeah. Gotcha. That's, I'm just sitting there autopiloting with control held down instead of. Yeah. Yep. 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 It's going to be a bit of a curve switching over to the new version, isn't it? I don't quite like it. It's just, as I said, mm. it's, it's, it's breaking a bit of muscle memory. Yeah. Yeah. And that's always tough. I'm thinking about leaving these mag plates or vertical ones on auto lock because it makes it a lot easier to bump up to them. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Yay! Cool. That actually is working out really well. Why also, did Tex become a horse. I thought he was a cow. Nay. <laughs> Hey, it's not so. Now I'm just picturing him as the laughing horse from Disenchanted. I couldn't get into that. No? I never was. Despite the fact that it's... Like... It is a bit... It's a, It's harder to get into. I can never pronounce his name right, but... Raining. <laughs> it's that one guy. Yeah. 
Okay. We have... Uh, it's uh, Mike Judge and Stone, isn't it? Those, those two? What? No, the Simpsons and Futurama. And who did... Uh, well, did Matt Judge? Groening. Yeah, Matt Groening. Or whatever. Groening. Groening. Mike Judge Raining, is uh, Beavis and Butthead and Daria. Anytime and you want, put King something of the in your plane down and lock it. The hangar has been retrofitted. Yay! And it uh, feels we... a lot bigger. By the way, do we own that grid now? Oh yeah. I had to, at the start of today's stream, I had to take it over from dead DE. For some reason. Yeah. Well, I, I had, I was the one that hacked it last, uh... Yeah, but it said you were dead. I was if I if you're offline, it says you're dead. Even no, no, if your corpse you, is still there. You were already here. That's why it was, was weird. It? You were talking as I did it. Well, I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> I I mean I expect dead capac owning things, but dead dead DE was a bit odd. Everybody's yeah, dead, Dave. Different. They're all dead. Dave's not here, man. Oh wrong Dave reference. Yeah. I don't care. I don't know any of them, so... I'll put the suspension on upside down. One Dave is much like the other. Oh, did you? Oh, you did too. One Dave or another. It's a, just a reference. And I'll make it, make it, make it, make it. Even Shelby. Did... Peterson. Oh, that's right. He's not... <clears throat> not a... Hmm. Chrissy Kachansky. Deadski. Not a Red Dwarf fan? Hmm. Correct. Never oh, got into it. Capac gets kudos points. Capac's very good with those sorts of quotes. I had a feeling he would be, to be honest. I'm not surprised in the slightest that Capac can quote a Red Dwarf at me. Uh, in our very first video we ever put on YouTube, Capac sings the theme song to Red Dwarf. Deliberately <laughs> poorly. <laughs> of course. Did you sing the... Uh... <laughs> The original lyrics or the updated ones? He only sings like one line of it. Uh, Go on. It it turns out there's two sets remember. of lyrics for uh, the Red Dwarf theme song, and one of them, the original version, is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember yeah, which bit you yeah. did sing, but it is only one line. Probably something about the temperature outside. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, lack yeah, yeah. Or presence thereof of some it's sort of atmosphere. Outside. There's no kind of atmosphere. We're all alone. Something, something. Never mind. Yeah. More <laughs> or less. <laughs> that, that's, that's literally what he said. Let me fly far away from here. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. Want to lie, shipwreck and copatose. Drinking we're fresh back. mango juice. Oh, we're I getting spoken we're word spoken wasted word. again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. D and I think the same thing. <laughs> What? <laughs> like a rotor on the side here. Is this even attached to anything? Oh, it's probably Some a rotatory. With wasted in the spoken word. Uh, Omni 5, the Ubor is on the workshop. It's the probably a little bit somewhere. bigger than Kermit. Uh, and it's on the workshop as the unnamed big orange rover. Ubor being the um, acronym for that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to get rid of some of that armor around there as well, Capac. What the? Wait, oh, you no. Get rid of the, armor? the armor should be fine. No, I had to get rid of it to add that wheel on the other side. Okay, Dead player, stop lying to me! Never! I needed three uh, large steel tubes. Help me with the suspension. I am! Ugh. See? Yes. <laughs> Do you need some steel plates? Can I place this? Oh. Ladders on the front rover, right? Yeah. You're placing a left wheel, aren't you, Capac? 
I'm not wheel. placing anything because it's not placing. There you go. I helped. Ugh. <laughs> wow. What? What? What's? What's with the attitude? Did I not help? Your idea of help is somewhat lacking. Mm. I literally placed the thing and made it so the wheel could place. I don't know what more you want from me. I mean, do you have to ask? Probably. Because I don't know. Uh, wasted. Okay. Would it be helpful if I put a welder on this sucker and use it to start welding up? Uh, uh, Jacob, we don't have enough materials for the Comet's medroom, so it's gone. I don't know, Tex. There's something terrifying about the idea of that drill, that, the, that crane wobbling around over the top of me as I'm building. It would make for comedic moments, I will say. I'm, I'm, I don't see anything. What could go wrong? That's a good point. What could go wrong? Yep, no. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this. You have been won over by the eloquence of my argument. Look, it works. It works. It parks. Um. All right. This thing's back on its wheels. Good job. How does she handle it? Uh. Oh. Uh, like a bistro? Um, uh, I'm feeling it's like, gonna be more, a bit more like a steakhouse right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gotta turn some steering to different values. <laughs> This wheel is at a different height than all the other ones. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's offset. It's not set yet. One thing I don't like about the new wheel is I can't see the current angle from the velocity screen. Whoa. On build vision. through the grid also on the um on wheels there's no turn steering on and off on the default wheel that shows up you need to go into the list to actually get to that because there are too many options on wheel blocks there are too many options on wheel blocks nowadays yeah what are they thinking Oh, yeah, Please eliminate three. Yep. Oh wow, we are completely out of large steel tubes. Are we completely out of iron? I don't know. I, I believe so. if we are, Tex, you know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Search your feelings, Tex. Yeah, we've still got 24,000. Okay. Well, we you know not. what not to do. So we have about what, fifteen minutes worth of iron then? <laughs> Knowing this crew. Oh, and that's, uh, that is a horrific and hilarious anything, idea. No. Holding elevator. Yeah, no, that I think is a good idea. Hilarious. Where are you on? Yes, you are. Why do you know? Why you know Mickey? I feel like. The bots have done something to troll me. Spy plane just flew over me. Oh, time. Yeah, it's been hanging around. Um, there was no handbrake control on the hot bar for the um, driver's seat. The bots have been using P. I knew that were even. Press the button.
That was a dangerous time to tell me that, Wasted, because your plane is behind where I'm reversing this thing. <laughs> Press the button. I didn't mean P, I meant the other button. I know you've got it. <laughs> X, right? You wanted to press X? Oh, yeah, watching those 5x5 five five just slip all over the place. It's really a shame they didn't, you know, make proper wheels at this size. Shadow of the plane going over. Uh, which plane? Uh, uh, not ours. Oh. Okay. Capac, since um, we've kind of done our job of getting this on wheels, do you want to try and see if we can go after it? Uh, I don't think this rover will be fast enough to catch that plane. No, but there is another plane. Well, we could give it a go. And it does have a gunner's seat for you. It's even labelled with your um, visage. You ready? Uh, yep. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's grab some more 25 mil ammo. Turning on. Are you ready, Capac? Uh, give me a sec. What am I waiting for? I am recovering the forklift so it doesn't get left behind. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. There you go. Uh, I'm up on the flight deck. All right, you ready? Yep. Whoa! Did you just take off sideways? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist to try it <laughs> after I did the um, uh, press X to launch. Launch. Ah, oh, I see. Fair enough. I probably should have. Oh wait, did someone repair my wings for me? Nope. I'm still damaged. You got a wing walker with you. I do, and he's an experienced one too. Mm-hmm. That's alright, he's probably more useful as a gunner. Probably. Uh, he is rapidly escaping us. That's okay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. He's not so rapidly escaping us now, is he, Capac? Although we're about to lose look. a lot of speed, I think. Oh. 
Donk, donk, donk. Oh, it looks like there might be fighters in Mount Kamak. You may have you a job to do. Do you want me to come up and assist? Sure. Thought I'd go and annoy this spy plane at least. I'm not sure I can achieve the same altitude, but I can make it. <laughs> I can make it worried. Make it look good. I mean, we've gotten to 6,400 meters altitude, which is pretty good for this thing, I think. We're closing with it very slowly. Yeah. Closing a bit faster now. No, no target lock yet. Oh, it's leading us towards the uh, Carl Urban. Come back, don't forget to try and get your target lock so you get your lead indicator. I'm trying. I think we can get it from about two and a half k's out. Oh well, wake me up in half an hour when that happens. I'm gonna take a nap. Of course you are. Let's see you nap like this. Hey, ah! Nap like a bat, Kavak. Hey, you're the one that's gonna have to clean up this cockpit afterwards. <laughs> no, it's clearly labeled as yours, so I know not to get in that one. Thunderbird inbound. In you're in the air? Oh, you're on the elevator, sorry. I'm on the elevator, yeah. Target the Thunderbird, Kapak. Yep. Not that you can help with really, no. Okay. Get out of the way then. Sorry, right, back. I'll try and just let you do the shooting for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oof. Okay, here we go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing to see. He's running rings around us. Got a couple oh. of hits. Oh, I can't. I can't steer enough. He's outmaneuvering me. Hmm. Whoa! Okay, he's got big guns. I'm airborne. Cool. Can you see our heading? I do not. Oh wait, I see you're way up there. I think, maybe. That's the ground! No, I don't see oh. you. Ow. I lost all my guns! Where's the rubber compared to where you are? I don't know. I just lost all my guns. Can you see the Carl Asur Urban uh, Mark IV Ow, AAA no. cannon? I just shot myself. 
if you can land that's not something runway, you should be able to do can rearm you <laughs> you have a projection uh, I do we're, we're just in the middle of a dogfight I don't think we want to bring this plane back to the, the rovers I can I can shoot them off your tail if you bring them this way again Kamak do you know which way this way is what probably not I don't know. Did you fly, us. Did you fly us. north or south of the rover? I don't know. Can you see the car? Oh, I see you. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> like, I, I'm not being deliberately difficult. I genuinely didn't know which way we'd gone. Ah! Was that you shooting us or him? That was me, because he okay. just suddenly maneuvered when I was shooting at him. Well, that's how I stop us getting hit by his heavier caliber <laughs> Weaponry. What the? I got a couple of hits on him. Is that a rocket that went past? Yep. I think the extra weight in all the guns at the front was actually messing with my controls because I can control it heaps better now that the guns are gone. Ooh, is he down? Is he hitting the ground? No. He's hit Ooh. the ground. Oh, he is? Yeah. All right, Kabak, you know what to do. Shoot him. No, not that! Not that! He's back oh. up, he's back up. Kabak just did his Kabak thing. What happened? He jumped out of the plane. <laughs> oh, you said, you said he knew what to do. Uh, apparently I was wrong. Alright, Capac, I'm on the ground with you. I'll fly Cap. Aha! Take this, robot! I've taken down the robot. Oh, nice work. Well done. Is the airplane recoverable? Uh... I think it's wedged in a crevice. Yeah, that looks pretty wedged. Hey, this is the same model that you had before. You're gonna... Uh, I did bring my drill. Whoa! No, you're making it worse! It might seem that way initially, but it's not. A plane falling into a crevice always seems bad. For good reason. <laughs> yeah, but that is one of Splitsy's greatest tricks. He, he finds them. <laughs> I do. I even made my even own. Even on planets famous for them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um. I think I drove into that one. Uh, be careful. The ferret scout car has oh. somebody with a rocket launcher. No. Oh. 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 Kavak just lost a few more bits. Hang on, Kavak, Kavak, Kavak. Wait, 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 wait. Have you no, got the thrusters that, on? Not that part. The, the the bit that's blocking the wing. It was both bits. Why is your first impulse with a crash plane to wedge it further into a crevice? Ah! Don't hit me. Ow! Okay, he, he has uh, oh. flight. Yeah, only one of the thrusters is gone. Yeah, I think he might have damaged one. Or maybe that's why he went down. Whoa. That was an interesting takeoff. So, do you see the Ferret Scout rover that's sitting on the ridge? Uh, no, I can't see it from here. If you fly back towards the rover, you'll see him again. 
Okay, I don't have any uh, guns, so that's up to Capac. Just be aware. Uh, I am not uh, in fighting condition. Okay. There is a man, or I guess uh, an artificial oh. man with uh, with a rocket launcher. He took two shots at me, but did not hit. Okay. Will Ferret. Got it. The Flying Thunderbird is Capac? Yes. Yep. Capac should probably take ownership of it, but I suspect he needs to concentrate on flying. Yep. Uh, you may want to just land a little distance from the rovers then. Before you change the... So you can change the IFFs. Uh, oh yeah, I see the ferret. Yeah, he just fired at me again. Oh yeah, I see. Just letting him uh, letting him shoot at me, since I know where he is. Just in case he decides to try and take a beat at one of you. I've got plenty of flight time. I've got 44 minutes of battery power still. So I can uh, stay on Overwatch while you guys land. Cool. I made it past the ferret. Oh, I'm so sad about my guns. Oh, I lost a decent chunk of my wing too. As I say that, I look and realize that chat's been telling me that for a while. <laughs> Oops. Flying with a missing bit of wing, 30 meters off the deck. That's how I roll. Well, since I've got flight time and I'm undamaged, I'm going to do some scouting. Cool. Um, you good? Scouting for us to drive toward? Yeah, I think so. Awesome. Oh, man. Uh, so if we keep going the way we're going, it's walls of mountain. But there is a giant... Is that an ice lake? Might be an ice lake. Uh, could I get the runway deployed? It is deployed. It is deployed. I'm good. Uh, also, you shouldn't be landing there while you're still an enemy. Oh, no, you're not an enemy. You're fixed. Fine. I sorted it. Alright, I'm coming in for landing. Uh, I am in the position. I can see you. Come on, you got this. I'm still alive at the end of this. I'm not going to be happy. Oh, here he comes. Ah, but I'm invulnerable, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't hit you hard enough. My handbrakes were on. Why didn't that stop me that time? Did I break my wheels? The wheels might be broken. Yeah. How did I manage? To, you pushed me off the top of the rover and it didn't even kill me. I yeah. can walk down a set of stairs and it will kill me from full damage, but apparently knocked off the top of the rover. Yeah, I can walk. I can that's get out of my car. Attempt number two. Yeah, I'm, even I'm watching run. this one. Hold it. Hold it. Oh no, get back. Well done, Splitzy. Where did Capac go? Uh, in the ground. Ah. I don't that's know right. how bad I'm the nearby. damage is. That, that's a couple of successful landings now, Splitz. I know. You better watch oh. out for yourself. It, You're going to carry it away. It, it's almost like having giant wheels on a tiny plane helps. Or, like having a ping of less than one million, <laughs> has some uh, benefits as well. Then how do you explain all my other crashes? <laughs> well, you're special. <laughs> I explained mine by saying I stalled out waiting for Splitsy to take his sweet time to land. Of course. Well, you had a pretty extreme angle of attack there, Captain. That's what you want. Yes and no. Alright, projector time. 
there might be a path forward through here, but it's going to be pretty hairy. Uh, Kapak, are you going to repair your plane before you try and land it again? Yeah, probably. Good idea. Because that gives me time to fix mine <laughs> without having to move it. Yep, that's not the way I wanted to go off the thing. Using a gyro for, like, the autopilot is really interesting because it actually does feel like I'm adjusting trim on an airplane. Uh, and using an override? Yeah. Oh, that might be part of my problem. I missed a, missed a block on my tailplane there. Because mm. you were saying gyro when I was trying to put my blueprints in, I typed gyro into the control panel. <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh man, I just turned my wheels off and I gained another 20 minutes of flight time. Wow. Those are some expensive wheels. Yeah, they are. Well, it's because when you're in the air, the script just keeps running them. Because I've got subgrid wheels. Because retractable landing. Oh, of course. That makes so much more sense. Okay, oh, Capac seeing... wanted me to test something. All right. Let's do it. So, there's a mountain over here. And on that mountain, there are two anti-aircraft vehicles I'm seeing. Uh, I'm not going to get close because there are two anti-aircraft vehicles. And I am in an aircraft. I'm not sure we want to go this way. We'd have to go up and over a mountain and then there's a ravine on the other side. I'm going to go wide around this mountain. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put it this way. I'm pretty sure we have to go over a mountain. It's a matter of picking which. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't get to the pole from here without going over <laughs> many mountains. You, I suspect. <laughs> All of the mountains. Which is the last time we went over a mountain, we fell to another planet, so I'm a little, little gun shy. That wasn't the last time. It was one time, but it wasn't the last time. That we went over a real proper mountain, yeah. Nah. We've gone over a bunch of like bumpy hills. Nah, we've definitely uh, we've gone got, over mounts. Have we? Yep. Uh, I'm just going to say that confidently because I have no idea. I'm pretty there's sure. There's airbase and stuff over here that they're sitting on. Oh, on the other side of this, I'm going to double check. I'm going to take a dive down here. But it looks like we might have an ice lake over here, unless it's a funky shadow. Tex, are you trying to be really creepy there? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Just, I'm being helpful. Uh huh. I mean, I mean, you are. It's just are I you, hadn't noticed you, you doing anything, do and I turned around and I saw this giant <laughs> crane creeping over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> was, it was, yeah. Hmm. There's a nice lake here. Just it's on so the other side of the mountain. It's actually working. I'm kind of really pleased. What's, what's the word? Chuffed? Yes, chuffed. I am chuffed. It's so funny because the word chuffed to me doesn't sound like a positive thing, but I know it is. I don't know. But you see, trains chuff. Do they not sound happy? Mm. I don't know. It's very steam train, that's, of course. That's but fair. yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got a couple of missing blocks here. Hmm, I should probably come back home. Uh, Tex, don't try and weld those wings in the middle. I'm those. getting rid of them. Capac wanted me to put uh, winglets on the outside for vertical stabilizers, so... 
I'm gonna try. Whoa! Oh! Alright, alright. Is the runway clear? Uh, there's a giant <laughs> crane in it. <laughs> it's decidedly not clear. <laughs> it has seldom been not clearer. I don't think I've ever seen a more overkill way of repairing a plate. It's like one steel plate per block. <laughs> but no. I know. Bring in the crane. I mean, he did Bring replace it. all my guns. So Bring there is that. In the okay, crane. fair enough. There's a little bit more than just a bit of armor. Bring in the crane. All right, can I return balanced. to base? Yes, I'm balanced. I'm going to try and get a, another look at this. Uh, it certainly looks a lot less that. scary than it did, Tex. I'll give you that. Yeah. Well, except except when it does that, and the entire grid at the bottom starts vibrating. <laughs> oh, that's wasted. Yeah, but I can't believe we wasted now seeing Capac. Now that it's not folding itself what? in half, you're you're Actually, orange, and you... I can't see your hex. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait! Why have I gone back to orange again? Because no, you died. Not acceptable. <laughs> you were about to get very upset with me for my comment, weren't you? Yeah, I was. I was actually going to call you blind, basically. <laughs> I wasn't going to get that upset. I was just like, are you a blind man? Oh, I thought you were going to get upset for me calling you cap. <laughs> I'm not even in my, my thing. There we go. There's a fly-by-night that's launched. I think they might be trying to intercept me. I don't know if they can match my uh, ceiling here. Still gaining on them. All right. Uh, Neon Pumpkin is locked down. Capac, you can come in for landing. <laughs> All hail Hydra. All hail the crane. It actually worked. That was really cool, Tex. Huh. Oh, I just realized uh, how high I could, was. You could name that one for me, the bag plate. There's a bell. I'll do it. Three of them now. I'll oh, do it. What's Kavak doing? I stole that before I breached the <laughs> runway. Oh, wait, never mind. I already have it named. Huh. I was getting there, but, you know. Magnetic, magnetic plate, real uh, storage. I like to watch when people try and land. Yeah, I'm Satisfying. hoping that I can land this as well as I did in single player and not maybe not cut it in half. It's my goal is land without cutting my airplane in half. Uh, my chat's giving me grief for putting the guns back where I complained about them being. Oh. Okay. Like, apparently, apparently they the guns have given so much grief that Wasted Space can't take it anymore. Yeah. I'm gone. I'm out. That's it. Done. <laughs> I'm out. I'm deliberately leaving the guns where they were because I don't have a better spot where they'll still balance the weight. Uh, anybody want me to show them how to run this train if I'm not here? Super, super simple. Uh, sure, Tex. Teach me in just a second. Okay. All right, where is Mr. Tex? I feel like this thing isn't as powerful as it should be. Have you repaired both engines? And do you have enough power to run both of the thrusters? I don't think anything else Tex is damaged. Do you have something yep. against Apparently, interior lighting? Ended up. Oops, sorry. No, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. I have absolutely nothing against interior lighting. I like the. Where is where is your control seat? So the control seat is the cockpit at the front of the. Uh, over here. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. It's, it's... All right. So what am I doing? So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the the, the nine key is unlock the pad that that's currently locked on, and then. It's just a simply a case of what you have to... The only thing you may not have mapped yet is... Uh, let me remember the key. But specifically, uh, you know about park, but for anybody that's watching the stream, basically I've got a script running that allows me to map certain keys to different directions so I can lift up and move around and all that jazz. 
Yeah. Uh, left and right is uh, mapped to rotate the train around. Yeah, but I need to act. Oh no, it, it's, it's lined up to the thing. And then, and then uh, to raise and lower the main pillar, you need to ha use the uh, rotate up and rotate down keys. Is the only ones that are un unintuitive. They need two up and down axes. That doesn't seem to be doing it. That's default Q and E, isn't it? Uh, no, that's the rotate. So forward, you go. forward, back, forward, left, and right seem to work for me. Extends. Yep, yep. And then if you go up and down, it'll it'll raise and lower these pistons on the end. No. Yes. Oh, so that's working. What the heck is your? Oh, right. How do I do the initial piston? Okay. Uh, rotate up and rotate down. I I had to map it. No. Uh oh. Oh. What? Uh, yeah, I, I do don't know, know what you mean deep. by rotate up and rotate down, because Q and E are the roll so, keys, and that's the only rotate keys that I know, so, and they don't. So, work. yeah. So if you go to your your movement controls inside the Space Engineers menu, you got the W A S D Q and E for the forward, back, left, right, rotate, left, rotate, right, and then the next two entries are rotate up and rotate down. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Which in my case is um, the arrow keys. There you go. By default. Perfect. Yep. Did Capac just land or did he just run off the end of the runway? He ran off the end I of the runway. I overshot the runway, yeah. Okay. And then the only other thing that's that's not mapped is the hinge. And oh. that's the yeah. I can seven see. key, I believe, ro reverses the rotating up and down. And then the six turns it on and off. Cool. Mm. This is pretty easy. Uh, up, 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 up. There you go. A little bit. A little more. Dragging the tines through the ender. Yeah. Why you not go up? Crank Get it. it. The engines aren't broken and they're running. So why don't I have enough power? Uh, you have to use your your arrow key. Go up and down with the column. Capac, I wonder if that aircraft. Oh my needs God, that columns and its engines. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And then you can just draw it back here and you can lock it. I could we could lock we could actually lock it closer. I don't know if there's any advantage to that. What do you think? Nah. Like snag it up on the edge. All right, and then come in a little more. And just a skosh to your left. A little more left, a little more left. Up. And then you can lock. Perfect. Wait. Done. Alright. I I feel confident that I can use your crane without destroying it at least once. Yep. I mean if you do, oh well. Make it, make it spectacular. Oh, wow. It's getting real soupy as I get down to the ground. Yeah. Capac, you're going to have a fun landing. I'm going to have a fun landing. You're going to have many fun heck? landings, apparently. And if anybody is interested in doing their own crane like that, uh, you have to do uh, it. Uh, Splitsy actually has a tutorial on his channel. I oh, do? It, well, oh, you yeah, do. I do. In, your, in your Survival Impossible. Yeah, because I used that script. You actually used it. Yeah. You may insert like a comment later with a link to that episode if you're interested. Come back. I'm here. I'm waiting but for only, you to dip below the runway. Only if you like and subscribe because that's the only way you're going to see it. I don't know. I give up. Thanks, Jacob. Thanks, DCS John Clark. What if you had a plane that landed vertically tough. but had a hinge on? Uh, over one? Mm. I don't think you'd be able to land a plane easily vertically, given the wind. Uh, Kapak, would you like me to try landing it? Go nuts. Why did I offer this? Because it's going to be funny. Okay, I'll wait for you to land. I'll just be in the pattern here. Oh, you can land first if you want. Oh, okay. Oh, these bots are evil. None of them use handbrake. I can't use handbrake on this one. Yeah, you can. Well, you, you could, but it'd be a bit. I, I can't use P. P doesn't do anything. Oh, hang on. I have to use the script. Capac can't do anything on this because he's out of power. That's why he's struggling. This seems so like much. a theme with Capac and aircraft. Yeah, he steals ones that the bots have like run out of power, and then they're like, "Eh, well, this isn't flying anymore. I give up." And then Capac steals it. 
Yeah, this thing was running on hydrogen engines that are now out of fuel. Don't know what you want to do about that, Kapak, but I'm going to leave the powering of it to you. You're free to land, dear. Okay. I think I'm way off on my approach angle, though. Oh, yeah. Go up the hill and then down the hill. And then put your mag lock to the lid on. It's called drone at lock. Alright, D. I'm here. I'm all waiting. Uh huh. I'm just hoping I don't crash. Well, that's a bit of a crosswind. Yep. Yeah. Now. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Bounce a little too much. <laughs> I'm not sure it was required, but I ducked the wing. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to come back around this way or are you going on the other side? Uh, it'll probably be easier because it's an eight it's an eight meter second wind. I'm going to go back the way I was because there's just going to be a lot less speed. <laughs> yep. Although, yeah, that, actually that's a good way because it's a headwind. Always land into the wind if you can. It does feel really good though, because this is actually based on a naval aircraft. This build. Mm -hmm. It's really fun seeing it land. Well, bounce. <laughs> so do you land with your parking brake on? I don't anymore. I just how'd you die, back? I was running out of fuel, so I <laughs> cut my jetpack to land on the runway. <laughs> He stopped. Nice. Did I hit somebody? Almost. Nope. You almost got me. You were close. Shut the power down. Actually, don't have Oh, that was sweaty. Uh... Good job. Thank you. You've got All an right. interesting uh, rake on that there vehicle. What do you mean? The inverse. <laughs> the inverse rake. You mean the nose down? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. You hit with your main gear first. Now the trickiest mm -hmm. part is getting this thing into the hangar. That's because uh, it doesn't fit in the lift. It does. I got it up here. What the? Oh. Mm. What? <laughs> Somebody covered up my cargo access with armor blocks. Uh, is your hangar pretty much done? Uh, yeah. Are you now going to spend a bit of time trying to work out this Penelope Cruise missile? Uh, well, wow. I was thinking of building the version of the, the plane, the missile that should work. Ah, good Who call. stole and the other robot? What do you mean? Who's driving away in the other rover? I am! I'm trying to work out how to set up a hitch to hook it up. I'm trying to destroy it by ramming it into trees. We all know that'll never happen. I don't destroy I things with trees, I save them. Discovered at this Freedom. point that no amount of tree collision is going to cause Blissey that much problems. No. <laughs> Nope, we're over 2,000 now. Oh, hello, wet dog. I'm not what you wanted. Oh, yeah. Love love that wet dog smell. Mmm, wet dog, best dog. And the noise <laughs> of her messing around with her antler that she's chewing on. Okay, now I need to put the wild, wacky, inflatable fuel boom. 
plug it in. Uh, but yeah, I can. I'll, I'll build a the joyous repast that I'm supposed to have. Uh huh. Give that a test flight, maybe without a warhead, just to save on explosives, or with a warhead. I can so see, go see if I can blow one of their vehicles up. Yeah, always, always, or dock it better. Um, cat pack. Oh, yeah, I'll just repairing all the armor. Cool. Yeah. Do you have a button for putting up your beach umbrella? Nope. Oh. The light. Sorry, just had to... Uh, <laughs> um... Because I'm thinking we tow the Kermit, given it doesn't quite generate as much pushing power as the front rover does. Uh, which I mean, means it'll probably be better to have it following than towing. You could just leave it separate. Yeah, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of what we do. Which is all sticking together. Let's stick Someone together. Someone will drive yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you. You're lucky I haven't already. See? There's my point. Not the infinite infinite plane. Could have been gone. Could have been there by now. <laughs> That's it. Series done. I mean, I did suggest that we just, you know, take Wasted's plane over there. Wrong way up. They're all terrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Step yeah, one is hooking it up so that it... Oh, um, cat back. I'm gonna need something from you. Which is a decision around where I'm gonna mount the hitch to the back of... Uh, I hate decisions. ...kaboom caboose. And, um... Actually, that's the only decision I need from you. But I also need you to put the beach umbrella up. So I can work on things. Alright. Is this connection working then? Um, that that's a fair point. It's not really the caboose if it's not at the back, but close enough. And we already have a caboose. Or are you suggesting putting that one behind it? Oh, yeah, I am putting. Well, as you well know, wasted the whole large grid set five by five wheels thing. Uh. Oh yes, they're on five by five, aren't they? Yeah. That's why I don't think it should be the lead. Mm. Close your faces. If it's storm the... time. Yep. Because if okay. it's the lead, we won't get up any hills. The umbrella is deployed. <laughs> Excellent. Um, deploy the umbrellas, yes. That's got a certain... Well, let's just say, there's, there could be better battle cries. <laughs> <laughs> could be worse. What? Operation Robot Rain? Unless you're watching... Uh, uh, they can take our freedom, but they'll never take our umbrellas. Warthog 3, son of Warthog. What? Inbound with multiple aboard. I think we're about oh to be... Are we about to be paradropped? Paradropped, yes. Uh, uh, has anyone we... got any... Kapak, you might want to... Have undeploy the umbrella because you've got the, the highest gunfire rate thing.
Somebody deploy the siren. Help if we could actually see them. Yeah, can we have the siren, please? It hasn't been been done in a while, and I feel like that's part of our problem. Oh, save. Okay, I'm gonna close the. Some hangar. of them have jumped already. Oh. They're pretty far out. Yeah, they're out of range. Almost like they did that on purpose. Just confirming we have we have no more uh, people in the air, right? Correct. Correct. And they grab some weapons. Wait, what? No, I I I think they're coming. I can't help but notice that we've got um some slow movers in the sky now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Running fast. They're gonna make a run. Come back, you're not gonna hit unless you've locked your lock. Got your target lock. What? I don't. My guns aren't firing. Yeah, they are. Well, who's. They who's certainly got... sound like they're firing. Who's got the no, big that's gun? That's not me. I've just got Gatling guns on this. Whoever... Um, whoever's controlling the big cannon, you might want to turn off your firing. Because you are firing. Uh, yeah. No. You have to click again to turn it off, remember? Uh, yeah. And have you got a target lock? Because there's no way you're gonna hit without a lead indicator yeah, on this. Yeah, I, I had a, I had our target lock. Okay. Come on, give me a lock. Parachute sighted. So I think that um, Robo Rain went wrong. Yeah. I think so. I can't help but notice <laughs> the closest parachute's a kilometer that way. Ah, uh, no, there's one that's above us. But it's about Parachute. to get into firing range. Um, it's just a question of, are we going to shoot them with their shoots out? Um, out of ammo. Bombs inbound. Bombs inbound. I can't s Oh. Bombs inbound. Move it. They're not going to hit. There's a few of them. Oh, they were close. With a hit. No, that hit. It's on us. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grind it down. EOD. EOD. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. I'm sure I go? said go? this up last time. It's, it's towards the back. Here it is. No, I got it. Okay. Bomb down. Got one of the go, EODs. Go. I see I um, someone's right. shooting down a parachute that's well out of range. Um, who's controlling the, the Gatling gun? You can see... The, I mean, you It's can see outside range, Tex. It's beyond 800 meters. No, but there's some drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you're not going to hit outside 800 Warthog's meters. Just don't even try. Are we taking fire from the ground? Yes. I lost sight of him in the weeds. I feel like we should not be sitting. Well, there are unexploded warheads underneath our truck. Are there? Is there still one underneath? Yeah, I've just found another one. I didn't want to drive over bombs. That seemed unwise. Take him out, Capac. Rock it. Uh, I can't hit targets on the ground, I just think. Okay. There's a pav on the ground. Taking fire from other small arms. Oh. <laughs> okay, wasted. Well, I was going to suggest you fly, and I could do that if you wanted. Why am I not getting a lead in but I like what you I like you thinking. You have to lock first. I am locked. Are they in range? Whoa.
Warhog's coming back in. Yep. Drawing fire, fire from the Hold toilet it. butt. Ugh. Wish I hadn't landed. I could take that guy out so easy with this plane. You take back off? Ah, uh, I'm plugged in and charged by the time I get up there. Oh, Wasted's moving to intercept. Oh, uh, Carmine is running towards the green thingy. Nice one, Wasted. Got, I got some good hits. Apologize for the uh, no, 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 movement, but if I fly level, I'm going to get hit. I was doing the same to Capac, so I totally get it. Did I just see massive flame sparks from the ground? Uh, we're okay down here. Yeah, I think the flame's down. Ooh, that was Ooh. a hit. You lost a, a wing panel. The solar panel, yeah. Hear gunfire. Where is it from? Are we okay, wasted? Oh, mm -hmm. one okay parachute enough. down. <laughs> but he's coming in quicker than that. Yeah, I don't think he wants to follow us, basically. <laughs> yeah. Which is going to be unfortunate, because I can stay in the air at, like, 20 <laughs> meters a second, and he can't. <laughs> okay, we need, we need to move. We're just going to eat up rockets this way. we got to dismount. Warthog taking a run on the rover. Oh, we're taking a run on it, although I can't. I'm gonna have to wait. Too. Yeah, I realize. Can you can you drive the rover? I have I'll no drive idea the what rover. you just said. Can you I'll drive the it. rover. Drive. Please. Uh, we can't. Our front. Right. We gotta grind this thing down first. The uh, schnoz fell off. I'm grinding it down. Schnoz is down. Wait, if I'm driving this rover, who's driving the green rover? I don't know. I'm in the main rover. Alright, I'll take the green one. Drive safe to you. Drive safe. Well, how come he gets a drive safe? He's, he's got the important one. Taking hits. Uh, is something exploding? Because I feel like it we're getting feels like it is. Soup. <laughs> we got a beautiful shot on that warthog. If you guys can hit him, coming in on a four to the cat back. Not sure. Oh no, you're driving. Uh, Never mind. Oh, where where has our sim speed gone? I don't know. Away. <laughs> yeah. I'm but out of ammo. It's never been wasted. so easier to control this plane. <laughs> well done. Do you want me to I'm stop? See if I... No, no, no. Keep going. I'm gonna see if there if there's another gun I have that I can. Um. All right, wait, so I'm going to try and do a mid-air rearm. It's, it's back up. All right, I'll hold stable. Where's the rover? This way. Oh, we are, we're booking is what we're doing. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, should I try up this hill? Uh, mm -hmm. Go Hello. right. Go for it. Full speed ahead. Full speed heard, ahead. You heard it. what the man said. He's bingo fuel. Yeah, he's definitely oh. bugging out. 
We need uh, turret control stations. Yep. Uh, D, just, just, if they're backing out, just park it up. Parking. Because that'll give no, us a chance to find out what it is that's causing this sim speed hell. Yeah, we've also still got dismounts though, unless huh. we took them out. As soon as D stopped driving, the sim speed improved. Uh, well, I do know that subgrids do a lot of physics calculations, especially yeah. wheels. But odd that it doesn't do it when I drive. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it was it was still uh, it got better while I was still driving, so I don't know. Hmm. Uh, where are you wasted? Coming back, you... I can't chase him. Okay. Are you He's gonna too quick for me. On the runway? Uh, why am I getting uh, enemy target indicators inside this rover? Probably because there are enemy targets inside the rover. Yeah, like like maybe they climbed inside the rover. Are they trying to steal it back? Probably. I'm not seeing a camera. lot of damage. Uh, I think one of them's this speed module. Okay. But I can come into you. I need to clear. Want to clear the rover? Is it gone now, Kavak? Uh, no, it's still there. Hmm. Took some shots at the runway. Can't see anything on the ground. Oh my gosh, I fell three inches and died. Thank you, space engineers. Uh, wasted. Where are you going? Yo. Turning around to land? Okay. <laughs> it's just seeing you drive away as, as the bots say, wasted space, or <laughs> execute order 66. I was getting suspicious. I mean, technically they said waste is space, so... Yeah, I waste don't know space. that guy. Waste space. Waste space. Waste your space, -ter. I love how well that thing flies, even missing giant amounts of its wing. <laughs> Who rules Barter Town? Waste your spacer! I forgot this gun only has the ammo that it can actually fit in the gun. Yeah, I might end up redesigning this thing at some point to have a bit more than that. I have rearmed it though. It, it, it was intended for different purposes originally. It was, it was. It was not meant yeah. to be fight it, uh, intercept. Yeah, we, unfortunately we didn't have our fighter intercepts up and running yet. Uh, mine would probably benefit from a bit of charging at some point. Although... Okay. I did. Uh, runways are deployed. Uh, do you want me to put my plane up on the runway? Be ready to go in case we see incoming again? Yeah, I think that might Pick be a good idea. Big hit on one of the, uh, one of the elevator blocks. I mean, we seem to have come out of that pretty well in general. Yeah. Considering what was going on. I'm certainly not disappointed with the outcome. Uh, right. Come back. Do you still have uh, enemy markers on the? Yeah, we do. What? We've still got enemy markers on that thing. Yeah, I got no idea what's going on. It's confusing. It's still happening now? Yeah, they're still happening now. What the... What gives? Urgh. Oh, it's, 
Uh, yeah, I suppose it could be invisible blocks in the control panel. Nope, not that one. Yay, it's fixed now. Is that an unknown signal or something else that's dropping under that parachute? Just to our east southeast. Uh, I don't have an unknown signal inbound. Neither do I. Come back, this feels like a job for you. Come back. Huh? There's an unknown signal that is dropping. I said this uh, feels like a job for you to investigate. I've got one 500 meters east southeast. Okay, so that is yours. Okay. Yeah, this is. <laughs> It's harder than it should have been. No, I couldn't hear what you were saying. Over the clanging. Something like that. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Just a plane attacking us with impunity. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're seeing the monstrosity I'm building about on top of the kaboom caboose. Well, in theory, it won't be particularly long before response times or something like that are quite fast. Um, DE, yeah. if you're going AA, that's not a good idea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You get so much more volume of fire with the Gatling guns, they're heaps better. Like, especially the considering the Gatling no damage. Oh, not, when, not if you had six of them. Well, I mean, and, with and six again, the auto ridiculous rate of fire. With six auto cannons, because they cycle fire, it's about two Gatlings. Uh, yeah, if you hit. If I can get a lead indicator, I can hit. Uh. I I hit Kanajashi without a lead indicator on those last runs. I hit him twice with a Gatling gun, and I've been practicing with the auto cannons. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get him with this. I, I think you're going to be disappointed, but sure, whatever. Um, it's just based on what I saw Wasted testing when he first, when the patch first dropped. The gats are so much better. Practice does make perfect, however, so I don't know. We'll see. It's just I tend to only land a few hits because they're they're in and out so fast, so the hits need to count. Yeah, but you'll land more hits with more bullets. You'd think so. Eh. Hey. You give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I'll replace it with Gatling guns. It'll be a real easy refit. I also the other thing is, the, the, hits you, ammo. the shots you miss are um, more expensive with the auto cannon. Let's see, I gotta put a turret control. Are you somewhere. sure, though? If you compare the rate of fire? Um, How many Gatlings cost Well, you get 140 rounds of Gatling ammo for one Magnesium. And... An autocannon magazine is 16 for 0.67 Magnesium. Yeah, autocannon rounds are a lot more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, but if they're taking, like... 16 times longer to fire and they cost 16 times as much and they cost the same true I take it someone's wanting a lot of detector components right now nope nah. Should build a few batches of them, enough for a few batches, so we can build multiple turret controllers for when we for when we break them. Hmm. It is a it is always a matter of when, isn't it? Uh, is that the right height?
think it's close enough. Oh man, it looks the business, I'll tell you that. <laughs> It'll sound it too. I so hope we find a magnesium deposit so that we just don't care about this for a little bit. Ammo loss. Make me my stuff. What? Hmm. I'm too much about the lag. It's far worse with a hinge turret than it is with a regular one. Uh, some of our piping's broken. Doesn't surprise me. They were shooting rockets at us for a little while there while everybody while we were doing all that. Oh my gosh, I have to name the autocannons. I check pitches. Uh, Stanley. Uh, Johnson. Yeah. Uh, that sounds good. Stanley and Johnson, I need four more names. Frederico. Okay. Uh, really, it's Johnson Johnny. and Johnson. Uh, Billy Bob. Elijah. Stanley Johnson, Feder Frederico, Billy Bob. Jimmy Jojo Jr. Shabadoo. Oh, yeah, you gotta have that. Not sure how to spell that. I'm sure Capac can help. Uh, it's exactly like it sounds. Let's say it again. Jimmy Jojo Jr. Shabadoo. I ran out of fuel again. I'll I'll name the last one Wackadoo because that just seems appropriate with all those other names. Do it. Do it, Wackadoo. I am done with the available projects. So I'm free to help anybody else with another project. Okay. Uh, be be advised, I'm doing a brief test fire. Uh, I am attempting to get the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get Kermit the Hulk attached to our rover so we can get moving. Okay. Uh, Kabak, could you please deploy the umbrella? Uh, there is a control for the umbrella in the, uh, in the turret I made up the top. Ooh, some damage was done to the kaboom caboose. How bad? Okay. Hmm, that's not good. Hmm, certainly not optimal. Wait, so he's still airborne? No. I might be you cannot. Back, you may need to adjust the hinge limits on your umbrella. Huh? You may need to adjust your hinge limits on your umbrella. Why? Because I have to put a hinge on here and a hitch. And your umbrella was... Uh, it, it hangs quite low. Does your umbrella hang with Yeah, I, th I thought someone was going to go there. Yep. Sorry. Free association, man. <laughs> um. I think I've got a hitch ready. I don't know if they're 
length is adequate for the size of the things that are getting hitched up though. Goring, Kamek. Well, you just like, oh, just move the hinge. I didn't say move the hinge, I just said adjust the limit so it doesn't go down quite as low. Because then it won't be a problem. Hmm. If it goes down to like 45 degrees instead of all the way down to sitting level, it'll be fine. Yeah, except there's going to be a trailer on the other side. Yeah, but I'm going to extend that hitch because I think I've made it way too short for this thing to follow us. See if I can hit a warthog with that later. Should we, uh, so we're just Oof. hitching up and then we're gonna try and move? That's the plan, but I think the hitch needs to, I think I need to extend it out a bit further. Cause I think this will collide as it is. I think, I think you're right, yeah. Yeah. You have to come out by three more blocks. I mean, Kamek, you can drop that lower than that. No, I can't. Why That'll not? just make it longer. Uh, yeah, but... It's, uh. it's literally as short as it can get right now. I know. Um, I was more thinking well, that if we're under attack, we could just detach the... What? Capac, and I know... I know the umbrella's beautiful, but what if we put hangar doors on top of that? We retract it and just fold it flat. It'll oh, fit it's then. it's an umbrella. I know. I'm just thinking of. We can just make it longer. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. This thing's gonna be awkward as on the back. Rec <laughs> yeah. You should put the de a detached thing on the hot bar. Yeah. For that. Emergency dit. Emergency ditch comet. Yes. Is that called pulling a Miss Piggy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be now. Those suspensions at the back there are real, real soft. Uh, we're pretty low on steel plates right now. Uh, if you need some, you can. There's uh, quite a few in the cargo hold of this thing. You can borrow some. I'm just, I've just been uh, slowly welding the roof of the Kaboom Caboose. Ah, that but would yeah. explain why it's gotten a bit heavier. Mm, yeah. I mean, we need... I mean, no, it shouldn't. We need the armor. It's the same weight, regardless. Oh, right, because space engineers. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of turret ammo in it now. I wouldn't have thought that would make enough difference. I think, I reckon we just didn't have the suspension strong enough for it to begin with. Yeah. Probably. Also, it's somehow lifted up on the trailer in front of it as well. So that doesn't help. Uh, that's There's a ridge right here that the, the drone trailer's on. Yep. All right, I'm just going to move us a bit done. forward to level that out a bit. Yeah. Everybody, safe for me to move forward a scooch. I'm going to yes. retract the runway. I don't ever get tired of that thing folding up. <laughs> also, we get more power this way because I finished a whole bunch of the solar cells on top. And since we're uh, 28 kilometers from the nearest ice, unless we backtrack. Some of our, I feel like some of our hinges have been turned on. Fuel low. Um, it did feel like that earlier, yeah. 
Yeah. Just the way it was moving was very like it was fighting itself. Yeah. Ooh, a little sabotage. First, no. Let me check the next one. Nope. Or breaking talk has gone on on some of them. Uh, I did turn breaking torque on two hinges, once on the crane. That shouldn't have affected anything. No, it shouldn't have. It shouldn't have. No. But it makes me wonder if something's gone wacky with it. No breaking torque there. No breaking torque there. Hmm. Guess that's just one of those odd things. Yeah, everything looks fine. Strange. Uh, does the neon pumpkin need to be charged? Uh, ideally, yeah, that'd be lovely. All right, hang on. If we find ice, we can it can charge itself, but until we do, it can't really. Really? All the way in the corner, not sure I can reach you. What did you say extend this really one. for, Capac? Well... Where am I? <laughs> what happened? Hi. We're in some kind Why? of lounge room. Uh, Hello. Welcome to the Crane Lounge. There's a lounge room? Yeah, there's even a bar here you can place your drinks on. <laughs> what you having, partner? Oh, things are a lot more civilized on this trailer than I remember. Oh, wow. The plant antenna looks like some kind of piece of exercise equipment. Yeah, it basically looks like like a, you know, like one of those fancy bars that you see around the edge of like some lounge or something. Yeah. Barely wide enough to hold your drinks and somebody's gonna come along and knock it off your, your positive. <laughs> Interesting. See, I see text took my earlier comments about the lighting and went, fine, I'm gonna have all the lights. I mean, I basically took his permission to just focus on doing lights. <laughs> Splitzy, because of where you're parked, I'm going to put a temporary connector on the front of your aircraft. You can just grind it off when you're ready to go. But otherwise, I'm going to have to add, like, two pistons and four hinges to this thing. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, do you, is there a better spot for me to park? Like, would you like me to move around it? Car pack! Uh, uh, Ow! What's happened? <laughs> Look. I think Splitzy. Capac turned on the fun music. <clears throat> okay, it's not my fault. Oh, is that not your fault? That made me do it. Um, oh, okay. Like, D, would it help if I moved around and hooked up to one of these side panels? Or is uh, that still going to be too far away? It's still going to be too far away, isn't it? Oh, what if I just don't lock and we just use the boom is my way of staying on the thing you'll bounce all over but it should be fine yeah let's do that uh, i'm in the pilot seat okay let me uh let me get the thing on here i mean alternatively i could just add one more piston and everything because i'm just looking at the size of the hangar now and i might just need that extra piston okay okay uh let me know if you want to move it but otherwise i'll uh okay yeah i'll try with the extra up. piston hopefully before sunset because it's about to sunset <laughs> just bad timing If nothing else, I would like to at least steal all of the fuel from Kermit. 
Yeah. I think it makes it less explosive. Well, that would be nice to make sure we've got enough energy on our main rig. It's quicker going around than going through inside. Capac, did you try and predict what my response to the fun music was going to be? Oh. <laughs> I had an idea, though. Was it predictable? Yeah. Bootsy's allergic to fun. I've heard that. That's why he tries to torture people with space engineering challenges all the time. Sometimes I just want to have a rave in the in the crane lounge. Is well, that too pick much? Pick better to ask? music. Hey, I didn't pick it. Pretty sure the you're the one who selected it. it. Well, no, chat was the one that selected it. Let's say I, I really kind of wanted. Fucker me. Sorry, text. You uh, didn't really come through on the radio there. Yeah, the, the stalker music. I know cheeky breaky time. Oh, oh off. Uh, that's real dark. There are enough components on board here that we might want to move them aboard, aboard our rover as well. I mean, if you're connected, you're connected, right? I was just thinking about because we're going to disconnect at some point, probably. I keep forgetting to confirm my settings. Yeah, I've just been mouse wheeling down and getting the old one. Doing my best to avoid becoming a grumpy old man and using the same things that I always knew. Must not I do resist like the, change. I, I do like the fact that they, even in the old one, it's not middle mouse button everything anymore. Hmm. There we go, we're hooked up. Congratulations. All right, I'm putting the, uh, I should be able to connect your plane in just a few minutes here. Sweet. Uh, I've got most of the armor patched up on this thing, and I've armored over the hydrogen tanks. Um, well, Capac, now that it's hooked up, do you want to fix up the hydrogen tanks to pull on your, um, Kaboom Caboose to pull it all in? Uh, I mean, we should probably patch up that trailer before we start worrying about filling it up. Nah, it's meant to have all that fuel. What? No, it's got big holes in it. <laughs> yeah, it's not the thing we're going to take into battle. We're going to take the other thing into battle. Okay. Whoa! 
What is not happy on here? Yeah, I thought I just saw fire. Yeah, there were giant clang sparks. Is there something inside some of these armor blocks or something like that? I just made these. Something's not happy in that's somewhere around here, Capac. You're locked up, Splitzy. Inventory. Oh, refueling. Surely there's gotta be an Thanks easier to way to find it than destroying all of the armor that I just built. To dig around randomly in walls. Uh you'd think so, but no. I'm setting the pumpkin batteries to recharge, just so you know. Ah, thank you. Still certain I'll forget, but thank you for telling me. Probably like this janky rotor over here or something. Oh, actually, yeah, probably is the missile. There Whoa. is a lot going on. I'm going to grind down the Penelope Cruise missile. It is not is happy. It going nuts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Inventory full. It is good, not a happy camper. Good thing you... Oh! Remove my walls. I've replaced uh, your walls. Um, what? What's, what's the arm do you? Did you find On something else? On my screen, it's just... I just got massive sparks everywhere. Yep, yep. I've been getting that too. Alright, grinding this thing down. Was that coming from the launcher? Yeah. Oh great, now I'm dropping stuff inside. Yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> this is awkward. I think it's next to impossible to avoid that because it's all the little plates. Whoa! Oh, that's not good. There, I've at least gotten rid of the projection. Inventory full. There is a welder over here you can dump stuff in. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, don't, don't grind the bottom. <laughs> oh no. I can't, I can't grind these plates. Wait, wait, hang on a second. Ow! Sorry. There's a lot of jiggling. Uh, did someone get rid of the link there? Not on purpose. Or link. <laughs> well, that should make everything a little happier, yeah? Uh, except for all the small pieces in here. Oh, do they fall into the ship itself? Uh-huh. Oh, what was that? Whoa, okay. Ow. I just died from something I don't understand. Yeah, there was a massive clang spark again. All right, I'm going to disconnect this from the main rover. I'm copy pasting it because there's something in here that is not good. Yep. Every robot right, just you, fall you, out. You want me to cut you loose? Uh, there's no... Yeah, just disconnect the rotor head. You do not need to use okay. your grinder. I was gonna. Ow. I've got my grinder in my hands. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna detach. Yeah, good. Detach. Uh, it won't actually let me choose detach. Okay. Ah. There we go. Not sure why it wouldn't let you. It's weird. Yep. It went, okay. it went from straight from attach to reverse for my only option. Yeah. Very odd. Also, I can't repair a couple of blocks on the Kaboom Caboose. They're just mangled to me, and every time I weld them, nothing happens. F5 is the only thing that fixes that. Reconnecting. Okay, we have cut and paste. Now we attempt to rehitch. Let's see if it's still really unhappy. And if it's still really unhappy, 
I think we've reached the subgrid limit. Oh, we've reached we reached that a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I'd say don't, don't don't give us too much credit. there. Okay, just confirmed that I was able to get a target lock with the, with the turret from my helm space that I put down here. Uh, Wasted, do we want to try and recover your sailplane to backboard? There's plenty uh, of room for it now. Mm, that's not entirely true. With her we could recover it, up. but it would need to live on top. I thought the wings could fold and it'll just come right down. Yeah, and well, now they don't fold. Ah! Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, would it be better up on top deck anyway? While we drive? Because we should be good to drive now. And of course that happens as it's dark. Because yeah. it yes, always yes. happens. Uh, oh. I mean, we do have a crane. We could just lift him up. We could. Yeah, if you recall, the latest update for aerodynamics took a plane that was fully functional and nicely balanced and turned it into one that wasn't. Uh, and so, in an attempt to make it actually properly flyable, so I don't have to use gyro override constantly in order to fly the thing, um, yeah, bits of it were being redesigned, and some of that involved taking off the hinges and the merge blocks. Partly because the shot that took out the solar panel meant that the Hinge blocks, hinge and merge have been split into two separate subgrids. Oh, and would have jump. to be completely rebuilt to put back together again. It's not quite perfect, but close. Well, I went ahead and finished uh, welding up all the uh, different parts for the rest of the drone bay. So it's, I think it's ready for you to do the projection part of it. Cool, cool. Uh, Wasted, is there something I can do to help you down here? Uh, I don't think so. I think, like, it's pretty much done. Maybe weld up those two solar panels that aren't welded. Sure. That's and about it. the random block that's floating on a wing? Yes, that one was uh, a gift. There we go. Welded up. Also working on a little bit more lighting for the hangar. Uh, getting so rid of, odd. Getting rid of that stuff on both sides, Wasted? You, well, have a look at the um, center of lift as I do this. I am seeing no change. Oh wait, center of lift. I don't have that one displaying. A center of drag, sorry. Uh, so do you want me to get rid of the ones, the same ones on this side that you got rid of? Yeah, go for it. Um, somehow the trailing edge is actually making it worse. Aha! Yeah, look how close together they are now. It's the same to me. I'm glad it's updating for you. Stick a block on the grid and then remove it. Normally fixes it. To me, it looks like the drag is behind the lift. I mean, behind the mass. They're close, yes, but the drag which is it should be. Okay. Which it should be. That means we'll yeah. ever so slightly nose up. Uh, there was, before I started modifications, probably five blocks, maybe six blocks between those two. Ooh, that's a bit Ooh. too much nose up. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> it meant every any time I got towards speed, it was definitely turn on gyro override if you want <laughs> to be able to control this. Yeah. Can understand that. Uh, what else do I need to weld up on? Uh, that is on good enough trailer. that it'll fly pretty well. Uh, the Kermit needs turrets. Tex? Yeah, but uh, we've got a whole bunch of unwelded blocks on the explosive trailer. I was... Yeah, that's... Doing them. That's probably... Ooh, sparks! I didn't see sparks. I saw them from the frog trailer. It's not happy. Oh, Tarkin? I... Think, hang on. I bet you that oh, yep. has something to do with it. Yeah. The way they've got the rotor turret set up, I think they're we're getting some collisions. Just grind those down. That'll probably help. Are there any others? Uh, there was one, another one at the front. No, well, that's it. I've taken out all the yeah. other ones. Any on the, uh, the sides are just spotlights. I think we're ready to move. Okay. Uh, we need to we need to load up a wasted though. We do. Let me open up the. Yes, I will need a. Uh, we'll need an uh, an runway. Uh, I will also need an hydrogen tank. <laughs> uh, there, there is a ladder by the front for too long. Oh, oh yeah, it's so fucking bad. Uh, runway's a little skewampus. All right, I will move forward and try and level it. I decap decapitated myself with the Capic trailer. It's an irony there. Turns out, solar panels look almost invisible when it's in the dark. <laughs> right, that's when, you, when you're approaching that's the edge on. We got a little bit of a tilt from one side to the other, but that's that's fine. Yeah. What the? Oh, yeah, that's about Am as good I as I can get. I bouncing yeah. up and down. Okay, so we just need to pick him up and throw him on top. Yeah. Or are you going to land You're not picking there, me up. <laughs> All right. Well, I will assume the position. In the middle of the runway. This will be a good opportunity to see whether or not I've fixed the more recalcitrant parts of its characteristics. Oh, I see a little bit of damage on the runway. Let me fix that. I'm going to add some lights down the length of the vehicle because I'd like to be able to see what I'm running into things with. You can now see inside the hangar at night, so that's a thing. Oh, fancy. We've almost got it to where we can actually walk from trailer to trailer. Yeah, I made the front so that we can um, walk from the For, Unfortunately, to the, the oh nope, I take it back. I have to do kind of a, jo a dog leg with the uh, hangar trailer, but it does work. How do we get to the middle settings in Build Vision, like the stuff that's not on the ring? Is there a way to do that? I, I don't know. We have to open Mouse this. wheel down instead of mouse wheel up and get the old menu. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious whether there was a way with the new menu. Uh, there probably is, I just don't know it. With this crane, is it better to have a shared initial sensor on or off? I can't tell. Uh, for off. everything except... You reckon off-wasted? I normally, for a crane, think everything except for the base piece. Whatever base the... piece, I suppose, might work, because that's not going to apply the weight in too mm. weird a position. Yeah. Because it stabilizes the rest of it, and it means you've only effectively got the weight applying for one subgrid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the hinges and the pistons, but not the base rotor. No, the other way around entirely. Because you've got a piston as your base piece, that should be the one without share and dancer. Okay. The important part is to understand what share and actually does, and then it'll help. Which is when it you click share and dancer, 
it? No, it equalizes the weight. So you make that piston, or whatever part you apply it to, weigh the same as the grid it's attached to. So if you're attached to the whole grid of the rover, the whole rover ends up taking on all that mass, and then it kind of adds up and becomes to truly well, yeah, same proportions. You, you stick it on a hinge at the top, and it'll be so heavy, the hinge may not even move. And if it does move, the force you're needing to put into it is terrifying. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so sounds like I shouldn't turn it. As I said, everything except for your base piston piece, turn it on. It'll cut down uh, on the jiggling, too. Okay. So they just heard two different things from two different people. So, so tax. Yeah. yeah, but then wasted it acknowledged that what I was suggesting is reasonable. This piston here, the one that says piston crane elevation, mm -hmm. don't put it on for it. Put it on for every other joint. Okay. It's dead. Because then it's only the crane itself that's sharing mass with itself and ah, not with the rover. Okay, that's what I was missing. Okay. So as long as we don't share with the rover, it's all fine. I'm a typically, yeah. Yeah, me, yeah, no, no, I'm given value of all fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is this is already a lot more stable now that we're not trying to hinge it back on itself. <laughs> Twice. And fold it. Um and and Tex, you may find that you don't need to use any sort of mag plate locking to keep the drill stable once you do that. In fact, it may be more stable without that. Okay. Let me, uh, let me turn that off. Because um, that may cause some degree of recursive issues. Yeah, well, runway is... Best imagine as that. Found a whole bunch of a little bit of damage from the runway, probably from repeated strafing runs and occasional cruise missile strikes. But, uh... Okay. She Comet is not there. happy with anything. You should, should try just... auto dampening to it. <laughs> I don't think I will. Yeah, Every time I get close it. to it, it jiggles. It's interesting. Oh wow! Yeah, that was kind of a. It felt like I was uh, experiencing an earthquake there for a moment. A uh, shaken, not stirred kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's definitely. All right, well, you know, let's let's try drawing, dragging it a little bit. We could maybe convince our lovely host to do a save first, and then if it all explodes gloriously, then we grind it down uh, and move Should on. we pull all the ammo out of this cargo container back here? Not a bad idea. I, I'd say pull nearly everything out of there and into our other rovers, given the way that okay. thing's clanging. Uh, what's, what's that cargo called? Here, let me change it. Uh, large car container? Yeah. Large car container, Kermit. Uh, that was a good thought, Kanajashi, but that piston does not appear to be the course. <laughs> I think it's just the degree of ridiculousness we have going on here. I think but it's, yeah. It, I don't think we're blaming is... Kermit. This is just all all bad. <laughs> Space engineer's physics <laughs> engine has finally had enough. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, like, it, I've had enough of it, your shenanigans. It's like, enough. I, I'm, guys, I'm going to get rid of you now. Uh, is a wasted gonna land soon? It looks like he's doing his pre-flights. I think he's desperately hoping that the uh, fog clears a little bit. Ah, that would be reasonable. I guess. Oh, our connection's broken again somewhere. Not my fault. No, I'm wondering if all this jiggling is damaging something. Shouldn't be. Subgrids are invulnerable to subgrids. Uh. Where is. The link broken.
Cat just charged him with a paper bag on top of his head and ran into the wall. <laughs> I have no idea where he got it from. Just sudden ruckus down the corridor. Turn it's around. amazing. What is this? <laughs> and just a bag comes flying around the corner. Yeah. And where is he taking it to? That's the next question. Okay, it's something broken in the tractor. I can, I can promise you he does not know. <laughs> Forwards is where he's taking it. <laughs> Off his head, wherever that destination is. Okay. Uh, I've emptied everything out of the Kermit cargo. Oh no. Okay, I must have fixed something somewhere that I didn't realize. Because now it's all working. Oh, it flies vaguely normally again. That's oh, it still wants to have this whole nose up thing, but not too bad. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm I'm okay with this. Oh, more sparks off that rear rover. Yep. And carrots grinding something? Yep. You're changing up your turret. Are you changing up DE's turret? It, it's missing some. I'm wondering how Capac's going to make it look like it has a face. I'm not putting a face on it. I don't have to put a face on everything. He can do whatever he wants with it, as long as it still works. Although I am thinking... There it is. I should have done a twin rotor setup instead of a hinge rotor, because then I could actually depress the gun down and shoot things on the ground. I uh, see. So I can't put this one because it's it's off center. I want that. Uh, yeah. That's off center as well. Just go mm. for the regular old one. Oh, I'm gonna lower this. Yeah, we do insist on having things sticking out of a runway. I'd lowered that down before. Who brought it back up? I, I, it was down like seconds ago. I did. I did. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Is this giant winged plane coming in? Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, we might have to shoot it down. Kemsey's the true. rear handbrake would have gone back on when I parked it when I moved everything forward. Here he comes. What? Nah. Uh. D, what is with you and shooting at pilots coming into land? <laughs> I'm just helping them find the glide slope. Although that it's, actually it, I've got to be honest, it's very, very distracting trying to land, watching huge sparks pile off that back rover. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very, very specifically coming from underneath it. Yeah. That is not the hinge causing that. There is something inside that grid. I copied, pa I like, I cut and pasted it. Hmm. There is Whoa. something real weird. There it goes. It looked like it came from here. Oh, yep. Yep. yeah. Where the batteries are. But we've got access to those from the top in the hangar deck here, and it's just like six batteries. Yeah, there's there's no subgrids on this thing anymore, and it's still. Oh, oh, let me guess. My wheels were off. Yep. Oh, I reckon it's the... Yep. Yep. I think chat's got it. What? The wheel arch armor. Is it? Yep. Oh. I had the same okay. issue on Escape from Purgatory when I had my wheels too close together. Get rid of the wheel arch armor. Inventory full. Uh, the ones I... that are going through the center of the hinge? What? No. Which, which which piece? Wheel arches, Tex. The bits above the wheels. You know, like the mud guts. Oh, that, there it goes. But it's, well, it's calmer. It's still jiggling oh, all over the place it's to Basically, me. the bits that are sticking into the suspension blocks. Okay. Oh. 
Get rid of all of those bits around there. Great. Splitsy's going to remove all this armor and then nothing's going to change. And he's going to be like, well, it must be something else then. I'm going to have I to think it's a good theory. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's we'll a good see. theory because we've had these problems before. Running. Well, I mean, at least we're getting some more steel plates. <laughs> hey, I caught the tail end of that landing. Wasted landed? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I land a lot better when the wheels are on so I can stop. <laughs> Imagine that. If you back up onto this thing, I'll, uh, I'll lock you in place. I've definitely seen that this sort of um, arrangement with armor around uh, wheels is a lot more unhappy on servers than it is in single player. Give me a sec to hear. I'm working out which way around to park because I can take off of this, but only when there's not a crane in the way. Mm -hmm. You could try and lock it to the second cockpit? Uh, no. If I locked it to the second cockpit, most of my plane would be off the grid. Yeah, that's fine. You can take off from zero, right? Give you a little running start. Uh, Aaron, I don't know what you mean by spectator camera blocks. Short of locking to the wheel, that thing is not in a place where I can use it. Um, what if I stuck it like right up here? Oh yeah. The second that I ground one of those pieces, I had a huge sour, sour spark. Yeah. So we need to bring the armor back right to where the suspension is to test to see if this helps. I have to back up so I can place it. Yeah, right, yeah. Right there, good? Yeah, it should be. On auto lock right now. Ooh. Now, do I dare? <laughs> you're gonna squat? Or you're gonna. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's the question is whether I dare I'll use X to do this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh. Oof. It ensures you take off when you let go of that landing gear. I'm here for Ooh. it. Uh, okay. That decrease height offset, increase height offset. I think. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Ow! Oh, I just murdered myself on Texas crane. What? I said I murdered myself on your crane. Crane was uh, innocent. Uh, I did nothing. Well, I did say I murdered myself. Mm-hmm. I know where that was going to go. You might have to face the other way. I'm going to stick a... Uh, I'm going to stick a random block on the bottom of the nose. Okay, that'll work too. It's like a half block. Something like that, <laughs> It's not feeling happier yet, is it? Uh, how about it it had points? a lot of blocks uh, around. I've got something, I think. Suspension. There you go. Ah, cool. Oh, right. I see what you mean, Aaron. Look, yeah. Aerodynamics. Um, hey! If, if there was something. <laughs> more lift on the nose. If there was something inside the um, the rover, that's usually a good way to find it with spectator cameras kind of sneaking through and clipping through. But I copy pasted it, so there shouldn't be anything inside, which is weird. You're clear. <laughs> I think I'm <laughs> Uh, I am. I think so. I think so. It's not by much. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be much of Kermit left. Kermit's going to be quite the tummy the tuck. Bit. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> what has he done? Oh, no, just... <laughs> let's just say if the, uh, if the if Edward was more than I don't know three small blocks wider, it wouldn't go on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just brilliant. Just gotta charge up real quick. All right, what else we got? Still got the front ones to do. Everybody is gonna be there. <laughs> there's there's not gonna be any uh... of this rover left, is there? Inventory full. 
So at this point, I really hope Capac's wrong and this does fix it. Because <laughs> we've annihilated so much of what this thing had. River's knocking, don't bother, uh, rocking, don't bother knocking. When the rover's rocking, run for your life! I think it's more accurate. Still vibrating pretty, uh, enthusiastically. Yep. Okay. We've still got a lot of armor blocks that are potentially clipping into things that the oh, server that doesn't Oh, that came like. from above. Those sparks are from up. One of the things that makes me suspicious that this is worse is um, as that this is what the cause is. As Capac and I repaired this, it got worse. Ah. The clanging actually got worse during the repairs. I didn't know it was doing it for you guys while you were repairing them. Well, it, it, it's particularly oh. unhappy as a trailer, but it's, it's not too unhappy not when it's on its own. It's shuddering nearly as much as it was. And we all know that the collisions around wheels are weird. Especially the 5x5s. Five they really left this thing in the wrong neighborhood, didn't they? <laughs> I say we just yep. go if it clangs out we ditch ah! it yep. alright let's do it we've loaded up wasted we've emptied it out right uh, we emptied the cargo yeah <laughs> although I've been dumping stuff in it so it might have filled up a bit yeah I'll, I'll dump it again but let's go script on uh, it's not showing anything in there actually it's, it's actually it's moving surprisingly well yeah, I think it's happy now. A, a hanger. So is the red light, is that all coming from the Cap the club? Cap -ac. Uh Can we start umbrella? Can we raise the umbrella again before it hangs out on the trailer? Uh, I guess we could. Does anyone have a direction we're heading that will avoid the worst of... Uh, there is no avoiding well, the worst. Well, you dodged the scale, Greg. The scale plane. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, could you have seen anything in this light anyway? So yeah, I've got from, a downwards camera, from but what probably I was, not. From what I saw is it's pretty hilly and mountainous uh, as far as the eye can see at this point. Uh -huh. There's There might be small ways to wind around things. Um, I can give you this GPS, which is the nearest ice if you want it. That's the nearest ice that's ahead of us. Coming this summer, Phantom Forces, distributed by New Clang Cinema. Now, it's a fairly, just with a couple ridges, decent shot up to there. But there is a mountain between us and that ice. Yeah. That we'll have to climb over. And on top of the mountain are bots. Yep. And at the moment, we're moving at a grand total of two and a half meters a second. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm overtaking you on foot. Yeah. I am full force trying to push Hello. forward. We are just way too heavy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk backwards at the same speed as our rover travels. Uh, <laughs> looks no, to actually like faster than our rover travels. Rear rover may be trying to drive the other direction. Yeah, right, let me. Chance suggesting I recompile the script. I'll do that. that might be a good thing. Yeah. It was basically spinning its wheels as you dragged it across the ground. We can just put a is. sign on it that says, take it back, and put a sensor in it with a warhead on it. <laughs> it is no better. Hmm. I think so we, we turned off. I think we're going to have to ditch some stuff. I think we're too heavy. We had to do the same thing in Wrong Way Down. We eventually collected too much stuff, and it just became too much mass for us to uh, move. Turn for me, please, Busy. Turn? Yeah. All right, that's problem number one. 
that the wheels are turning on the end on of the, the back trailer. I'm still only getting barely four meters a second without doing any turning though. Uh, it looks like the center wheels on the hangar deck trailer, anyway, are. Yeah, and the, the, what, what needs to happen here is someone who has an idea what suspension settings needs to set up this suspension. It's um. Hmm. Oh, and this trailer is just in the air. That's nice. Interesting. Yeah, it's 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 all accumulated some bad stuff. I think. <laughs> right. Well, also, one of our heaviest trailers, the. Uh, the hydrogen trailer is suspended. Cool. But I think that that's what I mean about some of these settings need to be looked at. I need to go grocery shopping. How, how is it right suspended? Now? The only chocolate I've got um, left is this coffee flavored one. Blech. It's just suspended. I don't know what to tell you. It's up in the air. Yeah. I away from my computer, I turned back and I saw a shower of sparks coming from the rover downward from the top. Oh. Hi. Is that, is that connection too high on the rear trailer? Uh, it could be, but the other alternative was too low. Oof. Um, I have an idea. It wasn't what I initially wanted to do because I kind of wanted to keep this thing, but I think we should take all of the stuff that we want out of the Mastodon and let Capac drive it separately in the yes. lead and find a route for us. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add some more lights for him so I can see, uh, and then I think we should just detach it. I think we've reached a point where it's actually just making things so much worse that I don't think we should keep it. Much as I wanted to keep it, I don't think we can. Yeah. Why does this back trailer only show us having two wheels? The why does Kermit? Uh-huh. Uh possibly because the others are hidden. Well the yeah, fuel trailer be, yeah. only has three wheels on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's because the hitch is at the wrong height and the back wheels have got the wrong suspension strength to make up for it. Uh, 5v5 wheels mating to 3x3 wheels. Yeah, it was never going to work very well, was it? Alright, Kapak, you happy to uh, take over the Mastodon? That would mean Kermit? Ugh, what's left of it? Should we uh, give him a self destruct system? Sure. I've already stolen all the fuel from it. Um, have we taken all of the other goodies out of it? I think so. Yeah. All right, Capac, like where would you like the self-destruct system to be? Depends on like, what you mean by goodies. You mean like uh, weapons and stuff? Or? No, I just meant the ammunition and here, right here on components. the bridge. Like right up, right up next to you. Like behind the driver's seat. Okay. <laughs> like right there. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Uh, here, let me set up controls for Capac. I've entitled it Self Destruct. I have not set anything else up on it. That's all you. Uh, oh, actually, Capac, you probably want to count down, don't you? I'd say give him ten to fifteen seconds. Yep. So he's got two options. You got two options on your hotbar cap hack. Number two is turn it to arms. So if you hit something or something hits it, it'll just go kaboom. Uh, and the third button will start the countdown. You'll have ten seconds to evacuate. Sure. All right. Uh, I'm going to detach you and. Hang on a second. I'm emptying the rest of the random stuff. I thought it was all emptied. I thought so too. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff in the assembler on it. Ah. Alright, are you good now, Tex? Uh, hang on one second. Besides the ammo and the assault cannon turret, yes. Okay, detaching. Oh, well, look, that trailer actually goes on the ground. Yeah, it was really hard to figure out the right height. Those things don't mate very easily. And come back, you can um, now have your umbrella drop down properly again. You're free to move around the country. Hooray. Even better. 
Oh, let's just leave that. We've gotten a whole bunch of fuel. Oh, did we offload all that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got tons of hydrogen now. Which means it's Perfect. extra important to finish the armor on this trailer. <laughs> I think that's great. Also, if somebody could drop me a bottle, that'd be great. There's okay. a ladder on the front rover, Dex. Okay. On the left-hand side. Uh, thanks, Aaron. Uh, I didn't... Uh, turning it on and off again, I didn't think was going to change the physics layout issues that we had. Just the 5x5s to the 3x3s, I couldn't get a good height for. I think it's best we just abandon this rather than keeping on struggling against issues like that. Ladder on the front row. All right, Kapak, uh, you're driving in the lead now, so I'm going to follow you. So you'll need to get up and past us. Kapak? Oh, there he goes. Uh, what have, what have you done? Oh, wait. Has Wasted Turn... Uh, did Wasted Turn off the steering on the... Wheels yes. For you? Okay, I'll fix it for you. I can drive straight ahead. Goodbye, Kapak. We knew you well. Have fun. See you on the other side of the planet when I make it all the way around. Okay, the, ah. the spotlights on the hangar pointing in, inward actually look pretty cool. We look like we're like a circus train or something. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying something with your steering angles and going to see if it helps you or hinders you. And then we can adjust it if it's wrong. Ah, we painted a pink. Mate. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh wow. I somehow do that? Arrows of the pink. Rover. That, that looks missing Dexter pink to me. <laughs> well, I mean, he is leading the way, so I guess it makes sense for him to uh, make it very obvious where he's going. All right, come back. Try, try steering now. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. One of them I missed. I missed one. I missed one. I missed one. Okay, now you're good. I think that'll give you a decent turning circle. Yeah. What the... What's wrong? Uh, I guess that's right. Maybe. Can't move though. It's because you're pushing a. Tr I think you're running into a tree. I can't reverse. What? Like I'm slowly moving forward, and reversing is doing nothing. Are you? Is your handbrake on or something? Nope. Propulsion override was on. There you go. But why was it working? <laughs> Cat back. Can I even ask questions? You t you turned you turned Kermit into Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Udo. Um, the yeah, the override was still on from when you were attached. Well to done, you you got that far quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, that that's thanks to my chat. I saw that. <laughs> oh, what the hell! Hang on, eye detection nanigans. We may have been chuckling about it in my chat about when exactly people are going to work out that the propulsion override is on like 0.5%. Oh, that. I was kind of hoping that it was going to be me just rolled away down the hill when he turned the handbrake off, but no. Unfortunately, it was set the wrong direction. 
Um, yeah, I was just going through the wheels systematically and I went, oh yeah, there's the propulsion, I'll fix that too. Okay. Let's see how well this drives now. Is that better? Uh, that's my base. Nope. Nope. Uh, base engine has crashed for anyone else? Nope. Oh, oh god. Oh. Okay. okay. Hang on, Roger. Come on. Oh god. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> that's a really bad stop? time for a crash. Uh, have we stopped? Oh. Nope, not really. Oh no, something's validating. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Your propulsion's... Oh, the Swedish oh, chef. Dear. I could do a Swedish chef. Okay, I think I just put the park on. Oh, he stopped? On the wrong trailer, so we'll fix that out <laughs> when oh, the time okay. comes. That's uh, the grind. industrial cockpit, too, is what I just did it. I, I ground Splitsy out of the cockpit, and it went all the way down because I was using the wrong grinder. Turn this to main cockpit. It's so hard to grind someone out of one of those cockpits when there's um. When you got that IT grinder in it. I did the same to uh, you a week or two ago. Yeah. Which block is it that we need on the hot bar for park? The cockpit. Oh, you're right. Because handbrake. Because yeah, there are wheels on. And the don't do park. Do handbrake. I'll be back in just a moment because it's loading in now. Oof. Okay. That is that is so mean when it crashes at those points. Also, I, that's the first Space Engineers crash I've had since I was back on my main PC. Was it crashing on the other yeah. one? Uh, no, the other one was having non-Space Engineers crashes. It was just having PC crashes. I'm just wondering if that still brings back. Have you done anything with your uh, Space Engineers folder? Or are you still running a, your original unmodified? Uh, I can, I had reinstalled it. Um, haven't done much else to it though. Not I much. assume you copied your app data stuff back. Yes. Okay, because there is definitely in. some bugs going around at the moment specifically mm. related to corrupted app data contents. Uh, okay. Like to the extent that I had to delete every blueprint and save I opened earlier this week in order to get Space Engineers to save. Ah. Even in a vanilla world unmodded. Ah. Why did you go that far? I just had to do yeah. the mods. Yeah, you, you, had, oh. you had a big issue. Uh, there we go all right let's see if this will move now looks like it uh okay i can see miss piggy up ahead Yeah, we've still got... We're still real slow. I've turned up your power by 12%. Try now. I can up your friction too if you want. Uh, What's the power set to? Friction Friction should be basically maxed. All the time on this. Friction is not maxed. It was at 60... Power is at 82%. Power we we want to use a bit to stop the back trailers from overtaking the front ones, but friction should be at max across the trailer on okay, large grid. Hang on. And if I look at the trailer, there is a chance. Yeah, our suspension strength is too high as well. Okay. Not by much. But are you taking care of that? Bit. I, I wasn't going to simply because two people fiddling in that menu is not a great thing. Okay. Uh, what should be six? I'd start with like eight or six. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've got it at seven. Let's put the difference. There's a slight problem of most of the front wheel. Front tractors wheels are off the ground right now. That's what I'm trying to fix with the suspension strength. Yeah, 
I didn't see this divot and I've driven straight over it. We're getting, we're basically at the point now where technically you want different suspension strength for each trailer because yeah, like the, the back trailer is really trailer. heavy, the middle trailer with the drone trailer is not very heavy at all. The runway trailer weighs more than the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the runway trailer right now with the way it's all decked out looks almost like a uh, like a a ferry like a ferry boat yeah <laughs> like you think cars be driving on and off of it uh, can I possibly get maximum power on the front tractor wheels it's just if I let go of anything I'll lose a is that hill. angry jalopy wheels probably uh, that's all the wheels pretty much power maxed Do this. I'm stuck. It just clipped this little hillside and it's totally stuck us. Yeah. I think maybe the, uh, it was like a, a virus vector. <laughs> it's clean as best on the grid, even though it is no longer connected. Oh, we're moving. We're making progress. I think we're like this is a fair. This is a moderately steep hill, and I think we are simply getting to the point of being too heavy. We are 2.6 million kilos. Well, let's see what, what we got the majority of in our inventory. Might drop off some weight. At least we don't have a ton of gravel, or we shouldn't, because that's being no, constantly ejected. No, that's being ejected. Uh, Alright, Capac, we're moving again. You can uh, continue to lead the way. Uh, uh, they well, I mean, I can the try. We have a I can't actually iron. see anything. Yeah, that's why you're going first. Well, a lot of MR-58 magazines as well. Over a thousand. Oh, let me at least start breaking this back down again. I could have broke them all down once. Well. I think. Yeah, we picked up like uh, we picked up a whole bunch more. Like, I think we're gonna permit. need to start like, ditching steel plate and stuff if we want to lose weight. But I'm just looking through the inventory at the moment. Uh, well, if we want to start losing steel plate, we can just weld up the blammo booty. No, yeah, that will actually lose weight on the road as a whole. Take that back. There's like 2,500, if not more. Who's been making more MR 58 max? I don't know. Nope. Like I said, I, I think there was over 1,000. Well, there's 2,500 in this container, and I deleted them all two episodes ago. I don't think it we got through the up processing of all of it, though, I said. Yeah, I don't think they've had a chance to all go away. Can I'm just clearing all the trees for us. Of them to delete, disassembles them. I'm pulling. Uh, the two thousand five hundred. Ooh, that looked a bit steep. This is really fun doing this while uh, we're moving. Yeah, I bet. Just keep going, though. It's good. It's good. I feel like it, we haven't really traveled anywhere in a while, so it'd be nice to make yeah, some distance. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. South. North. <laughs> I don't know it was one of those directions. <laughs> we need to get uphill somewhere though so that we can find a way over these mountains that are to the north. Oh, I turned 
to the left and there was a wheel coming at me. I don't know if this is making any difference at all with how much uh, plate I'm pulling out. I mean, it, it, it'll it eventually make a difference. Um, how much of a difference, I'm uncertain, but it should eventually make some difference. Um, oof. Falling about a kilometer behind Miss Piggy. It's getting very rough over here. Yep. There's going to be a part where he's not going to be able to go anymore. Possibly. That's what the self-destruct is for. <laughs> Should we offer uh, Kenajashi his rover back? Here you go. Slightly used. Only driven to the shops once a week by an old lady. <laughs> We can also start pulling some grids out and welding up some of these partially complete uh, armor blocks. I'm making some distance. It's mostly west, though. I don't think there's, we don't have a lot of options. Because no. if we went straight north from there, it was literally just like straight up after mm. straight up. Kampak is an old lady. Yeah. This has been established. But he's guiding us uh, right now, so. Oh, this is a really bad idea for me. Yeah. What's going on? I'm just trying to fly around this thing with my ping. Also, as he's driving. That's I'm honestly calculation. surprised I haven't. I'm honestly surprised I haven't died yet. It helps that we're only going about five meters a second. Yeah, yeah. Also, what other game lets you do this? <laughs> like, seriously. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I might, you know. And then when, we're, when we start getting salty about it, you know, not working, but... Yeah. I mean, most games just don't let you even try to do some of the stuff we're doing. For good reason. Well, for the reasons that they don't work in this game. Yeah. <laughs> the very useful oh, lights that Splitsy put on here are both gone now. Oh, good job. Well, you're not to, you're not meant to crash them in. Anyway. Yeah, I hate reversing a trailer attached to a trailer attached to a trailer. I can't imagine why. All right, I'm in a ditch and I can't see anything except so. Okay. Uh, is it? Are we at that point where we um sleep? Totally. <laughs> because I think uh, zero progress can be made from this point otherwise. So Okay, so we all have to get in our beds downstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try and get closer so I can get in his bed. Uh, have we claimed rooms okay. yet? Okay, Think, thanks to the your ridiculous engineering from before, the vehicle is now split in half. Activate the self-destruct. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we can see it. Whoa! Limo! Whoa, and look at the clang sparks! I don't, yeah. That was yep. insane! There we go. It's coming off oh. a wheel that's not attached to anything. It was in my bed. Why? What the heck? Havoc. It was the wheel is the still doing it. It was this suspension. Which is now yeah, propelling itself down the hill. <laughs> I think there's a robot in it. That's nuts! 
Cat pack, send them to GPS so they know where to find it. <laughs> Makes some for some pretty solid rave lighting, apparently, that wheel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just calm down now. Yeah. Pretty efficient self-destruct, got rid of most of the uh most yeah. of the rover. Oh, there's a little bit left. Really did. Excellent placement, Capac, excellent placement. So we're sleeping yeah. now? Uh, inventory yeah, full. let's let's sleep. This is this is gonna be impossible to navigate through without it. This piggy always had a timber problem. Frog bottom cover here. Everybody clip that, please. By the way, I want to see that after the fact. All right, I'm in yeah, bed. I'd like to see it from further away. I pretty <laughs> much just saw fire in front of my face. I had a really good view of it going kablamo. All right, everybody in bed? Nope. Oh, guy back. He parked. No, I gotta climb up the ladder, and then I gotta find my way across the hinge. Were we 2.8 million before? Now we're down to 2.6 and a half? We were 2.6 before. I like my better. Alright. All right. I'm in bed. Okay. Yep. Are there enough beds for everybody? Mm hmm? Uh, mm -hmm. I think I only made two in the, the, the run light. Ow. Well, I'm gonna go sleep in the you can squeeze in here, Splitzy. Well, somebody yeah. should be on watch in case robots show up. Big Spoon! I'm calling Big Spoon. <laughs> Hang on. you gonna be. Pretty good, pretty good, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, it's morning. The gobbly gobbly shumungi. There, there appears to be some pieces of Miss Piggy in the way of our rover. Mm, yeah, probably. I might need some help removing them. Oh, is it morning? It's morning. Okay. Capac sang through the night. That's why I feel like I didn't sleep. <laughs> I thought that was my dream. Oh yeah, there's definitely some ink. Ink on you. I don't know what was so cursed about that rover. It was specifically that one wheel. It was one that wheel. one mm. suspension. Yep. Which is I tell you what though, right now this up. game is running a hell of a lot better. Yep. We just had to kill it. Kill the cursed rover. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I, mm. I did, I did uh, hear rumor that apparently the rover was cursed before we got it, and had, mm. and that's kind of how it ended up flipped on the flat ground when the bots were trying to fix it. Ow! I just squished myself. Uh, Miss Piggy's Revenge! Oh, where'd my stuff go? Oh, you could have killed yourself with it. Nice. Well, you got, it's got its revenge. Uh, Are we just leaving this here, the wreck, for them? Yeah. Alright, sounds good. I just need the, we just need the pieces that are in the way of the tractor to move. Sweet. Well, ready to go. No, no, there's pieces. still pieces in the way. Yeah, there's still what? pieces. What? Did I not see it? Oh. It's yeah. right yeah. pink and I can't see it. Inventory full. Oh, because it's a wheel. That's why. I mean, it's wheelie big. It was wheelie big, but it was also blending in with the other wheels. I couldn't see around it. But I just rolled with it and fixed the problem. Couldn't see the forest for the wheels. Oh, man. Mm. I'm getting tired of these jokes. I'm driving. <laughs> I can tell. I'm trying to run away from the puns. Yeah. You can't. You can go all the way to the rim and you'll never escape them. Yeah. Puns they just keep going around and around. Than the speed of light. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dragnon. 
Yes, the Mega Flare. That was bizarre. I don't know what's yeah, going on. We might be able to go in with that wheel. This weird little thing, if we can find enough spaces for it. Doesn't look too bad, actually. That's um, it's got a clip birds. for me. Oh, um. Is this where we send Wasted up in the sky to give us a route? I think he can launch right where he is. But the question is, when will we be able to recover him? There, there is that. Not that we need to. I mean, this plane can stay up indefinitely. There is that too. Here, there's a nice flat spot right at the pole. Wow, that that shower of sparks from that explosion. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it was intense. I've never seen such a consistent shower of clang sparks. Yeah, normally it's just one and then it takes off for the orbit, but... Alright, where are we headed to? Backwards. Uh, vaguely north if I can get the rover to move. Vaguely north, although there's this giant cliff wall in our way. Uh, I mean, you go to the left and go up the kind of valley that goes up there and then go around the cliff. Fair enough. Or we can make a series of pistons with mag locks on them and use it to scale the cliff. I'm here for it. Let's do it. You make a good point, Omni-5. I really should move the I don't know control seat to the other side. This thing up. Not a single one. We need What's like that? three at a time to pull this thing up the cliff. I you can only lock off to one thing at a time. And you know that we'd all accidentally unlock one, all of it at once. No, we would all stand... <laughs> all of us would stand on the front rover, on the, on, on the front edge of it, while you, Splitzy, operated everything. I mean, yeah, I'd give way, it a go, but it'd probably take us, like, three weeks to climb it. Probably. And halfway up the cliff, we'd fail to switch lock in the wrong order, in, in the right order, and we'd <laughs> fall down to our doom. <laughs> You're not yeah, thinking you know, of this I mean, in the right way, though, Splitsy. Think of the ad revenue from all those watch hours. I mean, why would we watch that? that? I think, <laughs> I think it would be the, the wrong way up. likes and subscriptions. Yeah. Oh. Do it for the likes, Splitsy. It's true. Do it for the likes. I mean, this didn't weigh up. All you gotta <laughs> do is just look at that, look at that LCD in the top left corner, and see if. Uh, it inspires you. I'm stuck. Am I snagged somewhere on one of these trailers? Is that where I can't... I keep still going stuck? forward. Minimally. I keep getting snagged at about this spot. Is there... Mm. A, like, Am I snagged on steepness somewhere? I... I or am I lifting too many wheels off the ground at one rover? I can't see enough to tell. You're stuck in a rubbishy little bit of crag that shouldn't really be giving you any problems. Um, Should we just drill it no. out? No, it's, no, you won't be able to drill it out. It's not even a crag like that. Okay. Essence slime. Oh, here we go. It's made us fun. Hmm. For now. Until this craggy bit snags us. If you hold off a sec, I want to make a couple of changes to the wheel settings. I just don't want to do it while you're moving. Alright, park brakes on. I have a feeling we've got a range of different settings across here because the groups are weird. Yeah. Uh, should we go through and make new groups? Like, delete all the wheel groups and create new groups? I, th I think that will be needed at yeah. some point. I mean, that is... Give that a go now. That that was a, just a quick, dirty change on all of them, but... Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're still gonna get snagged here. There's too much rough ground and too many wheels off off it. And every time mm -hmm. I turned, I kept getting snagged anyway. I mean, we could use the piston thing to get over this this crag bit, right? Because up here, it doesn't look... Up a here? Up here, it doesn't look really <laughs> bad. Yeah. Up a here, it doesn't look too bad. I see meet the ball. One thing I do need is not 100% friction on the front tractor because it's got the steering. Every time I steer, I'm losing all momentum. That just means your steering needs to be set up properly. Well, we don't have proper steering at all. Unless we use... No, I mean, that if, if your steering angle... If you're locking up, that's a steering angle. Yeah, and but because the, the, we won't have Ackerman steering, it'll always lock up a bit. Because the angle of the right one will always match the left one, which it shouldn't, because the arc will be different. Yeah, but I suspect that that's not our issue. I suspect our issue is that as it currently stands, they're just... Just not You're turning right. multiple wheels, and the angles of the multiple wheels isn't right, so they're fighting against each other. The Ackerman thing shouldn't stop you dead. I mean, we could try losing some weight. If and we were. Improves things. I'm I'm using as many components to build up anything that's not fully complete right now. Yeah. Oh, while we're stuck, I'll give you a hand with that. Come on, little truck. You can do it. You can do it. By no definition is this a little truck. Well, considering it only exists as, you know, a bunch of switches, it's pretty small. No. Nah. Nah. Stuff's way not right. Yeah, your, your back wheels on the front trailer are turning too. Yeah. And that's never going to work when you've got a trailer. <laughs> you're trying to make it. You're trying to make it rota rotate at the point at which the first hitch is, basically. Yep. So let's turn steering off on those. Oops. Just turn it back on. I did. No. Oh, and some of my middle wheels are turning too. Oh, weird. Well, that's not going to be helping. That means, oh. yeah, that, I bet you that's most of our problem. If, yeah. If you've got multiple yeah, yeah. turning wheels, then, yeah. We're so snagged now. Uh, okay, we've got a bar jackknife back here. Yep. I thought there wheel might be something like that. Wheel on wheel, hot action. Mm -hmm. I could turn on... The, oh, you're going to do exactly what I was thinking of doing. Yep. Maximum power. Oh, woo! Ooh, something's gone wrong. Uh, it actually went really bright. Not intentional, but it went really yeah, bright. Yeah, I was... I thought it was going to be bad, but it, <laughs> it turned out pretty well. Yeah! I thought it was going to be all kinds of disaster. I thought it was going to roll the whole train. Yeah. Oh, we're moving again. Yeah. 
until I locked the tractor up on the first trailer. It's we raised really the lid on the metal? Yeah. I needed a Why? Place to I needed a place to Okay. It's helpful when I'm working on it. Oh, I didn't know you were working on it. Sorry. I'll lower it back down. So it just pops up, or they're just going to shoot out the sides, basically? Mm hmm Nice. That's cool. Um, my chat thinks the uh, crane trailer is, is steering. It is. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, that's I not just helpful. saw that message. Let me... Uh, hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. Here, let me... I can, I can do that. Thanks, Owen. Uh, let's see. Trailer three wheels. Steering off. Now try. Yeah, it's better. Uh oh, did you see that? Something, something, metal hail. Yep. I'm gonna get on my uh, turret controller helm. Come on, truck. Turn around. You can do it. Are we giving up on this hill? Uh, I have to, because I can't... I I just keep jackknifing and I can't actually turn us up it. Okay. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, In fact, there. I'm still, yeah. every time I try and turn left, locking up. I'm not getting any traction to actually turn. Incoming? That's because your front wheel's on, on the ground half the time. Yeah. Oh, and... hang on. I'm gonna watch for a sec, but I, I have a suspicion I've seen the issue. Uh, we've got many bots that are many dropping bots. what they thought was in front of us. That is no longer in front of us. Yep. Uh, plane might be diving towards us. Son of Warthog. Confirmed it's diving towards us. It's going to have a fun time hitting us at 26 meters a second, and yep. I can't slow us down. Just remember those turrets don't stop firing unless you click again. I know, I know. Um, apparently the lead indicator doesn't work. It just circled, my target lock is just circled around him. Yeah, it doesn't work for my turret either. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. So that means we're just gonna have to go with regular turrets. Yeah, unfortunately. It's so stupid. So. I can't fire on it, it's above my... Oh, hold on. Uh, you can deploy your... Umbrella Quebec. Whoa, that's not good! Oh, God. What's happening? Good reverse. Good reverse. That was terrifying. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, your what? hangar almost ended up on its roof. Oh, that's not good. Don't we have hinge I... limits for that? Not anymore, apparently. <sighs> uh, Wasted, what did you think was possibly the problem? It wasn't that. Uh, it looked like your center wheels on the front weren't turning. Looks like the bot plane is yep. landing to pick up the bot. They dropped. Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah, your yeah, limits have gone on your hinge, Splitsy. Ah. Awesome. Which will be part of why you're jackknifing so bad. Hold still, sick. Holding still. 
Otherwise, I don't want to, because you're moving the limit, I don't want to suddenly bump into you as you're turning and then you know what happens. I've got a dismount <laughs> that's uh, heading towards Miss Piggy. That's fine. There's nothing there useful for them. Hang it. They're probably about to take off again to, yep. Try and uh, do another drop, maybe. Maybe. Oh, there's a waste of the dropped on the ground. Yeah, I'm trying to check that the other rotor doesn't have the same problem. It does. This leads me to think that occasionally people are selecting groups on this incorrectly and resetting settings. Yeah. And also, but there also seems to be some bugs with groups grabbing extra blocks just randomly. Um, it's like, it seems to be related to the turret controllers that randomly were resetting themselves to just grab the first thing on mm -hmm. the grid. Uh, and is closing. Dragon also brought up a good point that it could be from stemming from when the tractor got rebuilt and the crane trailer was driving for a bit. You could. This looks like it could be a bombing run. Or a paratrooper drop. Yeah, I don't have. They're still dismounted. What was that text? <laughs> that don't call got clipped off. They're still dismounted. No, I'm not climbing up when we're being chased. Yeesh. It's out of range. It's out of range, get back. No such thing as out of range. Yeah, yeah, actually there is. There is. Just be aware your rotor on that hitch is in the same situation. Ah. So roll is bad. Also... The roll at the moment is bad, yeah. This direction is bad. I possibly. Get back your umbrella is inconvenient. <laughs> uh, and it's yeah. sort of my fault that he did that, so. But he can increase the hinge limits again. Rog's coming back around. Let's see it. I don't think he's going to come close enough for uh, the AA guns to get him. Too afeard. He's trying to do an high altitude bomb. Never gonna happen at the speed we're moving. You have to be a very lucky hit, and I am snaking around all over the place, so it makes it even less likely. My favorite part is how my speed indicator is reading zero right now because I'm in a turret controller. Yeah. around well if we can just get these guys to leave us alone we can then send up whoa oh, here he rocket. comes rocket from where from the right rocket from the right we're hogs coming in how'd they get so close so fast I don't know I mean, we're not far from Miss Piggy right now. Oh, we've oh, so we've turned around oh. again. Where did that rocket go? That uh, hit, was they that hit a the tractor gun somewhere. Shot? Nah. It was a rocket that went into the front rover. Yeah. Bombing run miss. Come on, kind of Joshy. Make a strafing run, I dare you. <laughs> Having a real hard time getting the lock on. Just constantly sitting there beeping. Yep. Yep. Oh, I saw some hits on it. Whoever's got the Gatling needs to lead more. Increase your lead. I don't have any lead indicators. Then increase it manually. Just go further ahead of the plane. You're too far behind. That's why we're telling you. It we're trying to be helpful.
Oh, there was another hit on it. Ah, oh, man. Um. DE, how quickly do you think you could get your plane out there? And do you want to? Because if you don't want to, I understand. But... Hang on. I think I may have gotten a hit there, but I'm not positive. You guys have made a couple of hits on it. I think it's mostly cat back. It's weird, like, as I get closer, it's like, it gets harder to aim it. Yeah, because you can't move fast enough to track him. Oh, I keep seeing smoke coming from it. Oh, I actually saw my lights lighting him up. He was that close. Ah, oh, one good burst. Um, I'm I'm happy to go after him if we can keep him far enough away. He's coming back. Ah. Oh, oh, I had him. Oh, we started. Yeah, because he had a clean run on us because we were static. All he has are machine guns in the front of that thing. No, he doesn't. He is shooting us with auto cannons. I've seen the explosions hitting the ground. <laughs> He's got big caliber things on it. Also, I think my space engineers has crashed. Well, guess we'll get a clean shot on him this time without the rover moving then. Uh, um, uh, the rover doesn't have crashes. parking brakes. Uh, yeah, we're sort of rolling a bit. Yeah, it's kind of jackknifing. Yep. Here it comes. comes. What's happening? I can't. Nope. Has someone we haven't locked... blown up yet? Has someone parked the rover? Nope. Okay. I don't know if I'm getting damage indicators either. I've turned yeah, the hand back on yeah. manually. Okay. I was driving it. That explains oh, why I suddenly sorry. wasn't able to move anymore. I didn't realize you were driving it. Well, the way it suddenly stopped driving back, rolling backwards and started rolling forwards instead might have been an indicator, but no worries. <laughs> Oh. Uh, we're Just on too jaunty an angle for me to launch. Splitzy. Okay, I'm. I'll be back in in a sec. Oh wait, here he comes. Oh, he's just circling. Looks like they're pulling back. Da -da 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 -da. I think I will uh, go through what Wasted said of clearing out my app data folder. Worth a shot. Something's yeah. going weird. Yeah. And it, it, my issues with this are specifically oh. space engineers too. Oh, he's coming in for another round, I think. Uh, it was a bit like the one oh, I was oh, suffering yeah. from oh. where it was. Yeah, he's breaking up. He's trying to get just to waste more ammo as he's trying. But I was really thinking, ooh, maybe I'm a... Uh, maybe it's Windows file permissions or whatever, mm. but nah. He's, he's out of range. Didn't matter how much I messed around, it ended up being. Still broken. <laughs> he's coming in. Uh, he's trying to get us to... Stop, stop. He's just trying to get us to fire at him. Is that you moving us now? Uh, the, yeah, there's there's a there's a person on the ground. Spot on the ground. Yeah, I can't, the... I can't index on him. Where? Back up what direction? Forward front or... right of the rover. Right, front right. Somebody's using my gun. Yeah, sorry. I was 
Sorry, I'll send it. Keep, keep, keep using was running right for me. <laughs> Maybe you'll have better control than I do. I killed the ground bot. Okay. I will stop coming that way then. I don't know if there's another one though. I'm seeing heavy caliber fire come after us. few hits then oh good we're what's like partially open what's going on with the thing did we take damage probably whoa what the uh did my turret just get blown up possibly probably yeah this lead this lead indicator is worthless what's going on here i got a few hits on it elevators torn up Coming in for another run. I don't know why. Is he the... down? Yeah. That looked like a hit. That's on the ground. Oh, I can't quite in next. I need yeah, to let my can't. dog out. She's clearly unhappy about something. Another half just got home. Okay, space engineers, fine, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, why did I die? Are those welders on? What? Whoa, what Probably. the heck? No, they're not. They have a little red tip when they're on. No, the welders are not on. I just walked by them and... Oh my gosh. What and how? I don't know, but... Right now... And what is going on have... with the runway? Uh... The entire thing's tipped to its side and stuck on the crank. Yeah, but Whoa. the... Okay, I didn't see that. Uh... What it the... happened... Whoa. <laughs> Let the dog out. No, I haven't let the dog out. Oh, okay. Oh, my turret is scrap metal. Uh, I'm going to let the dog out, and then I'm going to try and fix this. Yeah, okay. I just don't understand why the runway opened, and why it now will not close. I mean, I know why it won't close right now. Because uh, it's wedged under a solar panel, and it's flipping the fuel dry lock. Uh, oh god, no. What is going on? Cut it loose. Cut Somebody's it loose. trying to drive. I'm it's trying to. Making things worse. Yep. Agreed, it is making things worse. Did, what happened with the. Did the rotor limits get turned off again? Because this isn't supposed to be able to happen. Okay. Whatever it. What, right now, I think what we need to do is cut the that side of the runway loose. It's not. That's not going to help. In fact, no, if the, I extend the, the it, it might push limit it limit never got up. set. Ah. Can't just set rotor limits while we're moving. That way clang lies. Because um, it'll suddenly decide that we're going to 360 instead of zero, and we'll be upside down. <laughs> okay, I think step zero. one... The solution to this is step one, the... Uh, Hangar gets reopened to push us back slightly upright. Step two, okay. the crane is used to landing gear to the floor yep. and pull us back down that direction. I'm trying to figure out why this side of the hangar opened. There's no reason for it to have opened in the first place. The, there's no damage to the hinges. There's not, It just opened. But I'll open this part. Hmm.
I have a suspicion I know what it is. I have a suspicion I know what I have a suspicion I know what our problem in general might have been to some extent. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, because that thing, I think, opened pretty much perfectly timed when I used build vision to turn the rotor that was on that Gatling turret on the front of the land, uh, runway to reverse. And I'm wondering whether build vision is actually sending commands to more than one block sometimes. Ooh. Not, yeah, not, yeah. Um, Wrote over a hinge, but yeah, I had just reversed the hinge that's on the front of yeah. the runway when that happened. Um, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, somebody's saying that it might be worth opening the other side of the runway to give it some weight on the other side. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Yay! Well, there goes the runway. Only part of it. It's okay. It gets blown up all the time. Mainly armor blocks. Um, the other thing that we could do at the moment is if we lower the friction on the kaboom caboose and spin it around using its hinge. Because that'll move a lot of weight to the other side. I realize it's I'm also sort of stopping of us, but the runway should stop us tipping too much further now as well. Okay, I'm standing by on the crane if, you, if we decide we want to Use it to either push off or to grab on the other side or something. Okay, does this trailer have a gyro? Uh, the runway trailer has a gyro down in the basement. I don't know if it's worth trying you to roll it. Low. Fuel critical. Uh, we could, uh, the damage part of the runway, we could build like a piston on it and use that to push it up. Yeah. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. We have broken stuff in between the hydrogen trailer and the rest of it. I just, I just don't know. That, how did this, how did it do? Like, we were on our... <laughs> We were on our wheels, and then suddenly we weren't. Weird things happen nice. when you get shot with this many subgrids. Huh. I think it was like uh, Phantom Forces from... I thought they got rid of deformation um, physics. There's a robot over there. Hiding behind yeah. that tree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't have a gun, so I can't shoot him. I don't have a jetpack, so I can't Critical. get off without almost killing myself. I can't refuel my hydrogen because the rear trailer is disconnected from the rest of the grid's conveyor system. Mm. And now the ladder is so high up in the air I can't actually get back on. I see the rear trailer. Checking the trailer hitches now, see if it's there. Yeah, I couldn't... From where Capac's yep, standing... Found, found the damage. I, okay. Ah, that's what it was. Any? Could anyone... Or oh, Camac, could you throw down a hydrogen bottle to me, please? I'm basically directly underneath you. Uh, I have one with seventy percent. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> I can fly again. There. Try now. Yep. Works now. Okay, so what I was trying to work on is seeing if I can get this hinge to spin us back into position a bit. Nope. No, it's kind of rotating. I mean, we could disconnect the back two trailers from the front two. I feel like sometimes the disconnecting is our undoing. <laughs> okay. I, I could be wrong. I just always feels like something's not quite right when we disconnect and then... And... Uh, what I am going to do, though, is wheels. And 
hopefully chat reminds me that I've done this. We can't really roll because we're we're so badly jackknifed. So I think we do need to push up and over somehow. Hang on. Is that one of us firing or is that one of them? I don't know. Whoa! Oh! Okay, that didn't help. Yeah, no, that didn't help. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it sort of might. If I can get this thing to do what I want it to do, but it's not doing it for some reason. Uh, it's because of space engineers. Uh, and it will do what you want it to do right up until the moment you really need it. I'm just frustrated oh. that... So I got on a regular Gatling turret towards the end, and I was center lining the... Uh, yeah. The thing, and no hits, and then I tried to round it. Look, nothing, 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 nothing. I don't think I scored a single hit that entire engagement. Well, that... I think that damage indicator on the turrets might be broken because I didn't see a single damage indication the whole time I was firing and I'm pretty sure I hit it maybe I don't know like, Tech, did you get any hits with your fire. with the, with the uh, turret? no I mean not with the assault gun auto cannon yes I think I got well I saw explosions I don't know how effective they were Oops. Oh, there is a robot over here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Step in the right direction. Did I squish you then, Wasted? And if I did, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, you're good. I was I busy trying see. to get the rear trailer to propulsion override on reverse to get it to move down the hill a bit. Ah. <laughs> so we were both working together to do the same thing, which is good. I should really not have my rifle out while I'm using field vision. Whoa! Whoa! That's Good dead! Work. It's dead! Stop oh, shooting Josh it! Over there. It was working. I on. walked over there. No one shot me. I just went over there, and he was over there. Oh, he's gone back there then. Yeah. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> he's already <laughs> dead. He's dead, Jim, but not as we know it. Uh, what if we take a piston, pull it down from the bottom of the rover, and then have it retract to pull it back in on this side of the hangar deck? I have a suspicion at this point that if you could get the rear rover and only the rear rover to reverse, it would probably pull itself all flat again. Uh, I think that's a... Wow. Ow. Hold on. That Let's blocks. pull the deck back together first. Because I want to clear that out of the way do we have limits set or i guess we can't can we nope they're set can on set? i believe they're set on everything except for the front rover which can't be set at the moment okay everything else should be all right although i'm having a look at where some of these rovers now and i'm thinking hang on a second that ain't 15 degrees yeah which is potentially why we've been having special jackknifing problems is these it looks like all of the rotor limits have been reset at some point in fact, okay. even the rotor limit I just set on the front looks like it might have been reset. Hmm. Not that button. Yeah, the one on on the third trailer is at that fifteen degrees and is at eighteen degrees. And it is turned off, which is correct, right? Yeah. Uh, so wasted. I have set it up so that I've turned off the subgrid wheel control script. I'm in a cockpit on the rear trailer. And I was thinking of just going forward. 
What do you reckon? Will that achieve Backwards what you in relation to the jalopy, I'm thinking, right? Correct, yeah. Well, I'm uh, here to see what happens. Essentially, yeah. Uh, it does not have enough power to achieve things with everything at 100% friction. Uh, can the... That may be because the front is still Whoa. considered to be on parking brake. What the... What just exploded next to you, Capac? They're still shooting at us. Eisen's over there. Okay, there was a TFE hidden in the rocks here. Oh, did you get him? Yeah, I got uh, him. You want me to remove the parking brake or no? Don't want you to do anything at the moment, Dex. Okay. In a butt. Not in a cockpit. Oh, you had a king rifle. In a butt, stand by. Uh, so, Waster, do you think reducing friction on all the wheels so that they can slide a little bit and allow us to pull into position is the right way to go, or should we just turn off the parking brake? I'm not sure how turning off the parking brake will respond with the script. It might still fight. Yeah. Uh, the, the front trailer, I don't can know. it move forward? No. 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 It's only got a couple of wheels on the ground. I'm going to drop friction on all of the wheels. Before anyone says anything, that large grid on the floor to the side at the front is not static. I just balanced it so I could get back onto the rover again. <laughs> Alright, dropping friction to 50%. Uh, let's go 30% actually. Uh, then kaboom kaboos, friction back up. You can oh. make that. If you get the jump, you can make that. <laughs> Wheels, strength six, five. Oh, come on, get more of these on the ground. Oh, that doesn't help. Uh, oh, what's happened now? <laughs> when I try and um, pull with the caboose, it kind of makes it worse. If you have a look. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's worse. It's much worse. <laughs> I, I have another thought of something we could try doing. Uh, it will require a bit of effort from two ends, I think, maybe. I think... I... Wasted, I was wondering whether you thought if these, if we zero friction to these three wheels and then use the rotor to try and spin it through. Since you're standing right next to me. I think it'll fall over if you zero restriction those wheels, even with the rotors. Mm. The, the weight's up too high. Which way were you trying to go with the caboose? Were you yeah, going left or right? I was just trying to pull backwards. To try and pull it all straight. Because mm. I think if you, like, went, tried to turn around to the right, I think it should straighten out everything. Yeah, it can't get around that far, though. If we get the two middle trailers that are really, really over right now back towards an even keel, would that fix a lot of the problems we're having? I think yeah, well, the, 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 the trailer we need to fix at the moment, the one we need to do first is the hangar trailer, because yeah. any further movement is going to fix that. I think our options here are... Probably piston related again. Yeah. My thought Let's do it. was piston off the bottom, attach it to the ground, retract it, pull that sucker down. I think this is going to be too long. I think we might be better off pushing up on the other side. Uh, that way we also ensure that it doesn't okay. cause too many clangy incidents, but it's going to require a, a hinge to go with it. Yeah. We'll have to be hinge piston on this side to level it out. 
Would it help if I pushed from the next trailer back? Um, was that gunfire one of us or someone else? No, they're still that shooting at us. That was kind of Jashi, who's just at the Warthog, and I just grinded, grinded him to death. Oh, nice. Good job. Yeah, he was over there. I just lit my jetpack and ran away because I I can't grind anyone in this game, nor can I shoot them. <laughs> I just can't. I don't want to put a hinge there first so we can push in a more controlled direction. Um, yeah, I think so. All right. I also think that if we double hinge from the other side down, if we get a good lock, we can just pull it down. Because I was thinking a multi-stage process where we pull from just the bottom first, get it closer over, and then attach to the bottom of the hanger and pull that down. I've turned this off intentionally, by the way, because if you give it a second, it's going to center itself exactly on the angle we wanted to push. <laughs> might get there a bit quicker if we put a little bit of braking torque. A little bit of braking torque might help, yeah. I just, just thought that as I turned the jetpack on. But I'm, eh, this, this is looking like it might take a while. <laughs> Zero friction does tend to do things you don't think about. I keep on trying to walk on the hangar deck and forgetting that I, it's at like 70 degrees. Uh, do you reckon landing gear here wasted or just push? I think we may have to landing gear. Because otherwise it'll just explode the piston head. If we have a piston head. Oh, you think slidey, slidey piston? Possibly, but if we're going to do this, lock, get it locked to the ground, and then I turn the hinge. Uh, actually, no. Uh, the hinge off. I'm, I'm thinking turning the hinge off, basically, so that hmm. it's, it's, it's doing its its twist yeah. as we push Boom. up. Now let's get those wheels onto lower friction, because now worst thing that happens is it slides in that direction, yeah, and blows up the piston. But by that point, it'll be the right way up. I mean, or we could go full splitsy and put oh, like 5,000 unbuilt batteries on the other side. No, wasted. <laughs> Convinced me how cheesy that was, and I've stopped doing it. Well, it hasn't been biggest, a thing since the very beginning of Wrong Way Down. The biggest problem with this situation <laughs> is that my forklift has ended up up in the air. If I could get that on the ground, we could have solved all these problems. Fixed ages ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could drop it off, Catback. Oh, yeah. I don't think tech, it'll survive. Tech, that's a good idea. Night. Can you get that farther? Can it go any farther towards the ground? No, that's that's the full extension. Oh, no. it's so close. All right, there we go. Because if that could grab the ground, it would pull us the rest of the way over. Right now, it's just kind of cantilevering us over to All right. not bad. Don't worry. Oh, what happened there? All right. You want, should I lock this off? Yeah, no, uh, no, no, retract it, no. retract it so it doesn't get exploded, Tex. Yep. Uh -oh. Hey, that's mostly gotcha. in the right direction. I just right. had to change the height offset on one of those inside wheels. Ah, nice trick. To give it right. a little bit more <laughs> to room. Now the, I uh... try driving the caboose uh, forward and to the right. Yeah, oh, actually, wait, are we level enough to set? Yeah, hold up. Well, Ooh. also, we're level enough. I don't think we need that any more text. Okay. Like, ev almost cool. everything's on, on the ground. Yeah, yeah it may have had everything. It may have actually helped a little bit. A little bit. We did yeah, it! Just move that center of gravity out. Mm hmm. I mean, this isn't very orky. This is more squatty. Okay. At this point. Alright. Are we good for me to drive then? Uh, I would double check everything, make sure nothing needs repairs first. Nothing that's not easily repaired. I patched up some stuff on the forward rover. We, got, we took some hits up there. 
Our elevator's out of commission. Runway's almost back up. Uh, My gun turret's been obliterated. I'm glad Tex was able to get a hit because, like, I just couldn't do it. I, I think I did. I mean, I came down, so obviously we hit it at some point. Yeah, somebody hit it. Uh, is there a lot of damage on it? I didn't. I didn't actually go over and look at it. I can go look. The warthog. I mean, yeah, there's not much of it left. Well, I also did shoot a bunch of it while it was on the ground because I was making sure Canada Joshi couldn't save anything. I'm so confused. There's a link broken somewhere inside this front tractor, and I don't know where it is. Uh, there's a uh, there's a bunch of damage to the floor. It might be something. Um, oh, like a container. One of the containers got damaged. Yeah. Something in the floor. Yeah. All right. Uh, I feel like we may now that we're all back on our wheels, we may want to attack this next week. Cause we're gonna need to get wasted up or someone up in the sky to find us a route from here that's not impossible. As God. I don't think there's a path you're, up to the top of this. You're this is the better of the two paths. Really? Uh huh. I'm pretty sure because the other one literally had. So you see how it's got this kind of rough ridge line stuff here. Had stuff that was a lot bigger, and more of them. The, these are pretty tame compared to the other one. Oh man. Oh man. No such luck. All right, sir. All right, fine. Let's see whether we can get anywhere then. At least if I can start us moving, it'd be nice. Yep, we're moving. Roger that. Nah, we're snagged. We're still jackknifed between the hangar and the crane. Yep. Because there is literally not a single trailer on this entire vehicle except for the front hitch that has the correct rotor settings. None of them are anywhere near it. Oh my gosh. We, they had all been set before, though. Yeah, they had. I'm just unsnagging it so that Wesley can set up the... Correct. Alright, hold there. So that's pretty good, I think. Yeah, Alien Planet has real bad terrain. Yep. I kind of want to take the pumpkin out so that I can see what we, what the so <laughs> I'm curious. So what should the settings on the rotors be, out of curiosity? Uh, 15 or, or yeah, 15, basically. 15 I wouldn't set any, below. I've not set, I've not set them now for a reason. Uh, this one is at three. It is already set to negative 15, 15. It is off with zero braking torque and full torque. Yeah. Are you looking at the one at the front? Looking at the one on the tra on the, the crane trailer. No, uh, no, it's not. It's set to 7070. Really? Um, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm looking at it. I believe you. 1990 on the one behind it. One of these is set yep. to 1212. 70, 12. 12, 12 on the, that's a rotor, and that's correct. Yep. Oh, were you setting the hinges to 15? Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I was talking about, it was a rotor. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, this one rotor here that's on 12, that's correct. Everything else is wrong. And then the, okay, the so ones I set up on the front earlier. So the rotors should be at negative 12 to 12. I'm very much feeling mm -hmm. that one person should be allocated to fixing the rotors and no one else should talk about it or do anything to it while they fix it. Yep. Because I feel like every time we talk about these, we all get more confused, not less. <laughs> I'll have to look into what's going on as well, but we did introduce one other thing to the grid today, and that's a script that specifically controls rotors and hinges. We did. Oh. No, that's, that's been running for... Streams, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, Park. Uh, uh yeah, it it has been, like, Tex has used it before. I've had it loaded for 
like the last Yeah, loaded, time. but has, has it actually been doing the thing? Have you actually set it up, or has it been sitting there with nothing? It was set up on the previous crane as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not... It couldn't be it, but... We were, I was running it before, and we didn't <sighs> run into this issue. We also connected a clanging grid to it. At some point today. We did. Yeah, clanging grid with no rotors or hinges on it, except for the ones we built. Oh, no, it had a whole bunch of um, turret controls. And turrets. Like, rotor oh. turrets. Well, if that rotor was turret. a problem, then so does all the ones we've got. Yeah, but what if they were named the same thing somehow? If they were just using turret, rotor 1, rotor 2, hinge 1, hinge 2. Kanajashi's pretty good about that, so I think that's less uh, likely. Okay. Also, just... space engineers can tell the difference between those because they won't be on the same subgrid. Sure. Like, yeah. Otherwise, the menu coloration wouldn't work. Huh. All my crane uh, rotors are, are named crane. All of my crane parts. Mm hmm. Blame crane parts. Is that the next in the series? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, and specifically, the park script only runs things that have that are in the park group. You want to just check what's in that group text? Just to see right. if something's yeah. going wonky with it? Uh. Why did he just say he's already checked it, but. Yeah, that's that was. Hmm. hmm. It is the day of random setting changes. It is. Yeah. yeah. It really is. But we didn't lose any airplanes today. This is true. That's a pretty. Let's good he do day. any flying. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, okay. Some flying. Uh, Got a, a in Capac shot down that one plane, captured it. Capac then brought it back. Whoops. Oh, something broke. Whoops. What's something happening? Something broke. Speaking of not losing planes, I forgot something. But oh dear. D did, did you tell press me. P? No, I forgot that you left the batteries on recharge. Ah. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Hey, Tex, you want to flip this plane? Without out? crashing. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, made that comment at timing. the perfect time of me oh, messing around timing. with this thing. Oh, man. Capac, <laughs> does it feel good to be up here and watch Splitsy with an upside down plane? Yep. That's what I thought. Oh, boy. <sighs> Especially how he did it. <laughs> yeah, that does actually make it better. I'm with you. Mm. Yeah, uh, I don't know. He's no just going to casually drive off the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with with no power, because I forgot the thing that D explicitly oh, right, told me. Oh, rolled off the side, then. Even better. I mean, anytime I plug a, one of these planes in, I always leave... All of mine are always on recharge, so that they charge faster. And that so that the jalopy doesn't drain it. That's the yeah. wonderful thing about Space Engineers, is everyone's got their routines, but no one's routines are the same. Yeah, yeah. And so, inevitably, you jump into someone else's craft, and something interesting goes down. Uh, Tex, that's not going to help. Like, mine always have the, uh... It could. The inertial dampers turned off. It, it could, if we, uh... Nope. If he lifts I'm, liter I'm literally going to pick it up, I'm going to flip the hinges over so it's right weighed up. Oh, you're going to flip over to the other side? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Okay. Yeah. that'll help. Well, yep. <laughs> say, why, would, why would that not help? <laughs> kind of a hard work maneuver, but yep, true enough. Yeah. So you're going to... Wait. He's going to flip it to the entire other side of the rover in order to get it the plane It will still be upside up. down. Yep. He's attached to the yeah, bottom well, of it. Yeah, he's exactly right. If you right. lift it straight up, oh. if you lift it straight up, it'll work. And then if yep. Splitsy gets in the cockpit, he can yep. just launch from it, oh, which is probably up, the okay. best option. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Uh, need another projector because I think I lost a chunk of my wing. Yeah, you did. I can see bits. it from here. <laughs> Whoops, it easy. That looks so cool. <laughs> As a modern art piece, 
10 out of 10. <laughs> right, now take off. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's my plan. Uh, Once again, it's projected, uh, Get him pointed uphill. I actually, I can give you a little bit of an angle up. Uh, he's already got an angle up a little bit. Because um, from the tilt of the rover, I think he'll be okay. Tex, look, Tex just wants to play with his crate. Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Got it built and working now. He desperately wants to do yeah. something with it. I mean, I mean, yeah, not wrong. <laughs> Tex. There we go. It's in launch position. Thank you. <laughs> it's just like, this makes it really hard to see what I'm doing <laughs> as he moves it. I would suggest, however, that you do turn, you know, batteries on. I should probably slap a repair projector in the Panther. Because inevitably it's going to end up on its <laughs> on its face on the ground, too. Are we building a second one on second one on top of it? That would be fantastic. Nice. There you go. There you go. Okie dokie. Man, all I wanted to do was be ready to scout. <laughs> <laughs> you Wait, were ready to scout. <laughs> but, like, I was impressed that you were thinking of just going up there because the elevator's still broken, too. Oh, I was like, just going to launch off the mid deck. W w w oh, literally right the way you drove it off. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. B being off was the only bit about being off that was wrong was. The um, lack of power and ability to stop myself. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Splat. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is. It's going to take me too long to fix this. Uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to have to repair yeah. this when it gets to the bottom. Just please don't break too much. Please don't break. Just say. You, you know. I think you're good. The, the hinge speed, we could eat it. Ah, uh, you know, I'm here for it. All right. No. Yeet us, delete us. Oh, Yeet us, delete about, us, engage. How, how about you just go ahead and thrust over? No, 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 no. You, you, you've, you've done it now. You've done it now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa, oh, my God. What did you just... I did not do that. Who who touched it? I turned on my thrusters. <laughs> Why did you go back? <laughs> I don't know. Some great physics and thrusters on. What? <laughs> I didn't get to see. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> he don't don't, he don't worry. Just just come and have a look at where I am, and you'll be I able can, to piece I can, together. I can see out the window. I need to get some hydrogen oh to get God. out of this blooming container. <laughs> All right, Tex, you're gonna need to max the velocity on that hinge, and you're gonna need to like unlock that. like un unlock me at the right timing, and yeah. I'm gonna have to turn on my thrusters. Before I hit the ground, as you as you've released oh, me. God, okay. Wait, what? But let me get we're, rid of my projector first. We're doing something that's a really bad idea. Yeah. What we're doing, which I'm I'm all about right now. After today, but, yeah. But what, Kevin? No, uh, <laughs> do you want to be in your know. Do you want to be in your passenger seat for this? Sure. All right, Tex, are, are you readying to throw me? And I am ready to throw you. Uh, can you just move us off the deck a little bit? Because then you'll have a much better idea. Because if we're snagged at all, you may not be able to there throw us go. as expected. Uh, one sec, let me just get rid of a spam bot. Oh. Thanks, Jex. Oh yeah, give us give us as much height as you can for this. <laughs> Although we appear to be wait, you're oh, you're also you're putting him down at the same time. You're no, pushing no, 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 his no, no. Oh. He's gonna get more velocity this way. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. stop that. This, don't, don't it's not. Again. This is not good. <laughs> I think it's spectacular. Okay. Ready? I whip my crane back and forth. I whip my crane back and forth. All right, Tex. I, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Give us a countdown. Oh! Are you strong enough to do it? Oh dear. Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most pathetic throw. I mean, it worked. It did. 
It did. <laughs> oh, geez. Thank God it was the most pathetic throw yeah. of it been anything else. I was waiting for it to just go all the way over and just straight into the ground on the other side. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, oh, ouch. <laughs> Did you pull something laughing too hard? I, I might have. I might. <laughs> Oh man! So see what I mean, Splitsy, about the the terrain along that valley route. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> land up the top. Capac and I are gonna say goodnight from there, uh, okay. <laughs> and we'll come back to figure this out next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Hang on. Uh, you want to so see yeah. the drone thing open? Oh yeah! Ready? Awesome. Not uh. quite. The drones need to be built. The like, drone printer. There's only one drone printer so far. Yeah, it's gonna come in for a close flyby. The plan. Yep. And is the drone is the drone printer up? I thought it was. It's printing right now. Oh. Well, well there goes Capac. Capac. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, and Bye. there goes Capac. Yeah, Did I'm you survive good. that? I survived. Uh, oh. I positioned it wrong. Oh no! I, it's it fine. It's not in. far off. Oh, I see. Yeah, it just needs to be like one more block over. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, good enough to sh pop it up for a second. Yeah. Uh, can I keep it in view? No. There we go. And I'm trapped in here by lag. And uh, say when you're ready. Um, uh, Splitzy! I'm okay. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Okay. I knew what I was doing. That's what they all say. Ooh, very nice. And it just goes foosh. I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. That's going to be awesome. Up to a four. The best part about that launch. is we can actually correctly. launch quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, that that was the thinking: is don't mm. run to get into a plane or anything like that. Run yep. for a seat, press that one button, and there's a button that says "All launch." It'll just release them all at once. Oh my god! <laughs> Although, nice. Don't don't talk to me about how long it took naming separate blueprints, one for each bay, so that you can actually tell which one's which. Oof. Oh man! Change the loadouts. grouping them all yeah. because yeah. there's three different loadouts. So, so there's like, uh, oh, that's not too bad. There's only twelve different blueprints that all needed correct group namings. Well, um, I'm going to stand on top of the thing and tell everyone that they should go watch Wasted because he's about to do some more space engineers, I assume. Well, yeah, I'm going to go and do a bit more of my aggress at war scenario. Ah, nice. Ooh, Wasted playing survival. Uh, so that's over at, at twitch.tv slash wasted space. And D, have you finished your naval boat now, I, haven't you? I did. I finished the boat. So what are you up to um, next? Been, uh, I found a game called This War of Mine that looks really interesting. Oh, uh, yes. For reasons to go into game. on stream. But mm -hmm. I will, uh, I'll probably be trying that out on uh, Thursday. Um, unless... Uh, Unless I end up playing Nebulous, which is always a possibility as well, but that's that's kind of up in the air. Cool. And Capac and I will be back tomorrow for some more for some multiplayer Subnautica. Oh, oh did no. they update the mod? They have, so we're going to give it another go and see if it runs a bit better than the last time. That'll uh, be fun. Hopefully, a few of the sync issues are fixed because a whole lot of the stuff is said to be fixed. And so they, even if not, it's still fun chilling out underwater. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you wanted to sneak in that game. Isn't that where all the good stuff is? <laughs> this is all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, here. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye now. And twitch.tv slash wasted space. Hello. <laughs>